Welcome to Mariner Baseball tonight. Hot dogs, burgers, and Kyle Seeger bobblehead night. And for the Mariners, as you know, they've had a hole in their starting rotation. Life is full of opportunities. It's what you make of them. And Mike Montgomery gets a chance tonight against the Yankees as we welcome you to Safeco Field. 60% chance of rain. Pretty good chance the roof will stay just like it is. Dave Sims, Mike Flowers, and a Root Sports crew with you. Let's take a look at the Yankee batting order. That will face the youngster from Valencia, California. Four manager Joe Girardi leading off. It will be Brett Gardner, Chris Young, getting the start tonight in left field. He'll hit second. Alex Rodriguez, the DH. 11-game hitting streak for A-Rod. Then it's Teixeira, the big home run last night, the grand slam. He will hit clean up Headley, Beltron, Perella, Murphy, and Drew rounding out the nine for the Yankees. And for Mike Mike Montgomery, making his major league debut against the New York Yankees, I'm sure he's a little bit nervous. Hopefully he can command the strike zone early in this one. Pretty good fastball in the low 90s. Has a curveball, 12-6 curveball, and a changeup occasional cutter. Take a look at our American Family Insurance defensive setup. Ruggiano getting the start in left field. Jackson in center. Nelson Cruz out in right. Kyle Seeger. Kyle Seeger bobble it. Kyle getting the start at third. Willie Bloomquist to start at shortstop. Then it's Cano and Morrison on the right side of the infield. And Mike Zanino will do the catching tonight. Well, right, here we go. Mike Montgomery, 25 years old, out of Valencia, California. Went to William S. Hart High School in Santa Clarita, California. First round pick of the Kansas City Royals, 36th overall in the 2008 draft. And here we go with his first pitch in the major leagues. And his first hitter will be Brett Gardner. Here we go. His first pitch in the major leagues at 7 11 Pacific time on Tuesday, June 2nd, is a strike to Brett Gardner. Fouled off Gardner, one for four, two runs scored last night. 63 degrees and calm, roof extended. Strike to no avail. He'll play an umpire Mike DeMuro. Will Little at first, Phil Cuzzy at second, and Tony Rendazzo at third. Here's the one, two. Foul ball. Take a look at the last pitch. I think it's his cut fastball, 90 miles an hour. Good look at our Alaska Supermo in the swing. He barely gets a piece of it. Ball, two strikes. Look to Willie Bloomquist. Throws him out. Good crowd to see the Yankees here this evening. 26,000 and change last night, game two. The three game set will be with you tomorrow at 1240. Masahiro Tanaka against Taiwan Walker. Good view from straightaway center field in the upper deck. Good start for Montgomery. Five pitches, four strikes for him. I think the one ball that he threw for a ball was an 0 2 pitch, was trying to do that. I think a couple of things. You look at the Yankees veteran club, he's going to have to pitch in the strike zone, especially early in the game. They're going to make sure that he throws strikes, but maybe just as important, he needs clean defense behind him tonight. You don't want to have to have to get through extra outs in an inning. I don't think Lloyd McClendon is looking for him to get real deep in this game. I think if you can get five innings and keep the club close, they'd be happy with that. Left field, Ruggiano right near the line. Easy play, two down. Chris Young retired. So Montgomery, nine games at Tacoma, 4 and 3 record, 3 7 4 ERA. And now, as if you couldn't tell, he's going to face Alex Rodriguez. Alex hitting 400 in his 11 game hitting streak. One for three last night, a fifth inning single and a run scored. Two new hips turns 40 later on 
in the summer. Really doing a job here to share a carry in this ball club. Strike one. Montgomery, a 374 ERA back at Tacoma. 53 innings, 47 strikes, 15 walks. This is what Rodriguez has done. This will hang in the air for Cruz. And Montgomery, great debut. Needs nine pitches to get the first three outs of his big league career. Mariners coming to bat. Of Mays lost his last two ball games. Here's the Mariner batting order that he'll face. Nice starting lineup brought to you by Chevron. Leading off it will be Austin Jackson. Then it's Willie Bloomquist in the lineup, a 400 hitter against Sabathia in his career. Cano, Cruz, and Seeger in the middle of the lineup. The DH tonight, Ricky Weeks, he will hit six. Morrison, Ruggiano, and Zanino rounding out the nine for the Mariners. Pitching in regular four days rest. As you see Sabathia. Mike, it's interesting as you're looking at strike two, Jackson. He's remaking. His pitching. I mean, he was a classic power pitcher, especially with that body. He's a big man, six, six, seven, about 280. Fastball just isn't there anymore. Saw that first pitch fastball, 89 miles an hour. That's where he's going to be. Mixing a slow breaking ball. He'll also use his changeup. His breaking ball classified as a slider. It's more of a slur these days. It used to be a hard slider, but that's not the case anymore. I'm talking to a bunch of people today, and it was an unsolicited. Two people were saying this is going to get down the line. That is a fair ball. Jackson digging hard out of the box, and he'll get the second standing up with a leadoff double. Good. Two strike hitting by Austin Jackson. We'll take a look at it. He gets a fastball, pulls his hands back inside, able to get the barrel to it on a 90 mile an hour fastball. And it stays fair. Good start for the Mariners. Jackson gets a leadoff double. Extends his hitting streak to six games. Now hitting eight for his last 24. Brings up Willie Bloomquist. We're talking about Sabathia likening him to Jared Weaver, who was a power pitcher when he first started out. Now he's into what mid to upper 80s. Maybe. 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 That's right, because a couple of times we saw him right. He was 83, 84. Willie Bloomquist, 12 for 30 against Sabathia. Shows bunt. It's ball one. And this, this is interesting to me. And Lloyd McClendon has a lot of options here. We showed you his average there. You can see it against Sabathia, 400 hitter. So he's clearly seen the ball well off of Sabathia. The other thing that Willie can do is bunt. But more importantly, typically Willie will stay up the middle the other way. So if he decides to hit, I think he can still advance the runner without giving up an out here on a bunt. We'll see what they want to do. Foul off of catcher John Ryan Murphy. Squared around the first pitch, and that pitch let him swing away. Oof. 
tough one right there. Count at one and one. Mike DeMuro trying to give Murphy a few extra seconds to shake it off. Willie looking for a, a base hit. He's 0 for his last six. 1 1 pitch outside. Ball two. That was the changeup from Sabathia. Joe Girardi, manager of the Yankees in his eighth season, took him to the 09 World Championship. He said CC understands who he is now and how he has to pitch. He said it's a tough transition. Up the middle. It'll advance the runner. Blumquist thrown out but gets the job done as Jackson gets the third one away. This played by Perella. And a good at bat for Willie. He knows his job, moves the runner up. Take a look at the American Family Insurance defense for the Yankees. Young in left field, Gardner out in center, Carlos Bel Beltran, the veteran, in right. Chase Headley, the former Padre, will be at third base. Drew and Perella playing up the middle. Mark Teixeira at first base, and Murphy will do the catching. I like that play by Lloyd and not trying to give up the hour right there by just bunting him over. I think that's an easy thing. You have a young pitcher on the mound making his debut. Why not try to have a big inning and Willie trying to hit the ball back up the middle and pick up the base hit but was able to advance the runner. It's good speed at third. Here's Cano. Fouls one back. Probably in last night's game 0 for 4. Fifth inning in the 6 3 loss. Sunday against the tribe, he came up in a situation like this and had a sacrifice fly. Way out in front. I always think it's it's telling when you're playing against your former team. They obviously know you better than anybody else. And last night, we saw it with Pineda. A lot of cut fastballs in on his hands, then the change up away. And right here, first pitch fastball on the inside corner, and then the slow breaking ball away from him. Pineda outstanding in his performance last night, picking up win number seven. Oh, two. And another slow breaking ball strikes out Cano, two down. We'll take a look at it, another slow breaking ball, and I think Robbie. Certainly aware of all the fastballs he had in on his hands, expecting them to go back in there again after the first pitch fastball, but a couple of slow breaking balls off the plate away, and he's well out front. Two outs, man, at third here in the first. Mariners trying to end a three game losing streak. They've lost four, five. Yankees two and three on this seven game road trip. Here's Cruz. One for 13 against Sabathia. Probably the one reason why I think they, they he might try to pitch to him. When you look at Cruz this year against left-handed pitchers, 516 average with six home runs. Worked outside, get that outside corner first strike. One on one. Matthew started out of the gate, lost his first four decisions. Two balls, one strike. Meanwhile, Cruz still at the top of many offensive categories, fourth in batting, still leads the American League in home runs. Tied for second in runs batted in, leads in slugging. Number six in on base percentage. Here's a 2 1. Two balls, two strikes. Back to back change ups, both of them well off the plate away. Sabathia career against the Mariners has a 12 and 5 record, a 2 6 3 ERA. As a Yankee, 8 and 2. And a 2 3 4. 2 2 pitch up high. Full count on deck. Kyle Seeger. It's his bobblehead night. Good crowd on hand. Hey, a 
Tough pitch misses. Walks Cruz and sets it up for Seager. Two outs and two on. And you can see right there, very careful. I don't think he was too anxious to throw a strike to Cruz if he wanted to expand the zone and get himself out. CC was going to let him do it. Left handers hitting just 149 with one home run against the bat yet. Big, re big reason why is that breaking ball that he's throwing the big slur. Well, here's Kyle Siegert. His bobblehead night this evening here at Safeco Field. Looks at a strike. Kyle one for ten against CC. There it is, the Kyle Seeger bobblehead. <laughs> Might as well have some fun while you're out there. Oh and two. Again, it's the breaking ball. A couple of breaking balls to Cano and two now to Kyle, and both of them well out in front. I think some of it too, Dave. You're talking about CC making adjustments. It's a little bit odd for hitters too when you're expecting to see a, a particular velocity and breaking ball off of a pitcher, and then he changes on you. Smothered by Murphy. Ball one. Yeah, you, you had that mental picture in your mind after all these ABs you've had against him over right. the years, right? Exactly. More, you're up there hitting more off of reputation <laughs> than where he's really at. Yeah, right. Runners at the corners, two outs for Seeger. A one two pitch. Struck him out. CC Sabathia, a couple of key strikeouts getting Cano and Seeger with men aboard. No score as we go to the second. Look at our Coors Light cold hard facts. And here we go. Major League starters ERA since April 21. The Rays, the Angels, and the Mariners, the top three. Another good crowd on hand here as Mark Teixeira leads off switch hitter batting righty. Against left hander Mike Montgomery. Big grand slam last night. He said Felix, his stuff early was so good. It was just amazing. It's Cano ranging. Did he get him? He did. Nice play. Yeah, 
to share talking about Felix last night. He said, geez, we only hit one ball hard, and that was the ball he hit off the changeup. Zanino was talking about it, and he said that at the start of the game, his fastball was moving all over mm -hmm. the place. And you mentioned it to share my conversation with him said, man, that ball was moving all over. And said once we started laying off, and then he couldn't locate it after he had the difficulty with the mound, and that's when they and then the walks, everything just built up on him. Here's Chase Headley. Another switch hitter. So okay. your Mike Montgomery, your pulse is like you got to control your pulse well, here tonight. Th th this is the interesting thing about it. You go out there and he starts the first inning. Right. Obviously very nervous, jitters, all of that happening for the 25-year-old. One push throws him out, two down. Good play by Willie. But I think the big thing is, is with him, after you get through the first inning, it was a, a really good first inning. If you look at the roster moves, you go into the dugout. I was watching the guys. They were all giving him the high fives to get that first inning out of the way. Then you sit down, you grab your towel, you get your water, and take a deep breath because that's <laughs> over. And, and now you, you're still working off of some of that adrenaline, but right. we'll see if he can continue to. Yeah, exactly. And you try to even out. A he's trying bit. to even out a little because bit because the, the peak, man, you're, the peak is unbelievable. And it's right? hard to control. Yeah, it really is. And, and and he did a fine job of that in the first inning. I give him a lot of credit. Now, a couple of ground ball outs here in the second. Third successive switch hitter here, the veteran Carlos Beltran. One and, one. And we talked about him throwing strikes. He's faced six batters, four first pitch strikes, 16 pitches overall, 11 strikes. So so far early on, pretty good. One one. Jackson coming in hard ball is dying on him and there's the first base hit of the ball game for the New York Yankees. Looks like a pretty good changeup. It's down and away and Belcher on the veteran hits it right off the end of the bat. Little flare out in the center field, but well located. Was able to get it on the outside corner. Brings up Jose Perella playing in just his 15th game. 222 hitter. Second baseman tonight. Montgomery 6'4, 200. I mentioned coming out of Santa Clarita, California. The Royals organization going back to 08. He's been through multiple stops along the way, including going to the Tampa Bay organization and then coming over here in the Ramirez trade. He does have an advantage today. And that is the Yankees have never seen him. We hadn't seen him. The Mariners coaches haven't seen him. The Yankees certainly haven't seen him. And I think that Lloyd will watch him closely, see if he can get through the line the first time, and then watch what happens the second time around. He's really going to have to manage him tonight. Slap to center field. Another base hit. Two out, two on. I mentioned it to Lloyd. I said, tell me what you know about Montgomery. He says, I'm going to be a fan just like you. I'm going to find out tonight. Yeah, exactly. Fastball away from him. Hits it hard into center field. Two outs, runners at first and second for catcher John Ryan Murphy hitting a 205, no homers, three runs batted in. Murphy playing just his 20th game. Ryan McCann does the bulk of the catching. There it is. We'll see the Yankees again to start the second half of the season in New York City. July 17, 18, and 19, and then go to Detroit for four games. Joe Girardi's club at one point lost 11 games and still was able, were able to stay atop the American League East, which is having a down year. East is not as formidable as it has been over the years. Was asked before the game today with Montgomery and him going out there making his debut if I had any advice for him. And I said, you know, the only thing I would tell him is go with whatever Mike Zanino puts down tonight and throw that pitch with conviction and let it, you know, whatever happens, happens. 
That's uh, Felix does that. Mark Burley, when that's one of the reasons why he works so fast. Where every catcher puts down, they've already gone through the plan. He knows what he's got. Boom, let's go. And and, and Mike knows the Yankees and what they want to do. So I, I think you can take a lot of pressure mm -hmm. off of yourself by doing that. Absolutely. One two pitch. Canoes position properly. Throws at the Yankee catcher, and that'll do it. No runs, two hits, no errors, two left. Ricky Weeks, Logan Morrison, Justin Ruggiano coming up with the Mariners. Sports is brought to you by Silver Reef Hotel Casino Spa, I-5, exit 260, Ferndale, Washington. By BNSF Railway, sponsor of the BNSF Blast. And by the Washington State Department of Labor and Industries. Hire smart and go to protectmyhome.net. Ebbets Field flannels. You love baseball caps as I do. Hang out there for a while. Come up with some nice goods. My grandfather would say, going to a store, he was a tailor. Hey, you got nice goods here. <laughs> Here's Ricky Weeks. These guys were teammates in 08. Remember when Cleveland traded CC to Milwaukee, Milwaukee in a pennant chase. Two. Ricky Weeks into last night's game as a pinch hitter, stayed on and played left field. Bounced into a double play. Breaking ball missed. So, Bathia, the 2006, make the 2007 Cy Young Award winner with the Cleveland Indians. He went 19 and 7 with a 3 2 1 ERA that year. 2 2 pitch. Went to the shortstop, Stephen Drew. And he throws him out. Well, this fastball, not what it used to be, Mike. Well, you can see the velocity 89 miles an hour, and the average against 346, fourth highest in Major League Baseball. And slugging. People aren't chasing it quite as much, so. Trying to figure it out. He has a few years left with the Yankees, too, so. Trying to reinvent himself. And as a left hander, they almost always seem to. He's in his 15th year in the big leagues. Logan Morrison looks at a breaking ball, strike one. 15 year career, 210 wins, 126 losses. 
almost batted in the leadoff spot in yesterday's game. Went one for four. Hit to Teixeira, who played a heck of a defensive first base yesterday. Two away. Two outs, and I'll bring up Jesse Ruggiano. And for Ruggiano, 0 for 6 career against CC. Just 64 at bats on the air for Ruggiano. In last uh, yes in last night's game, pinch hitting in the ninth inning, got an infield base hit. Sabathia in his seventh year with the Yankees, a record of 93 and 53. Eight years with Cleveland. One with Milwaukee, seven with the Yankees. Here's a two up. Two one pitch. Three balls, one strike. Pretty good example right there. Two and zero. We're talking about Sabathia in the past. You, you could have booked it fastball in on your hands. He comes back with the changeup. Ruggiano out in front of it. Tried to come back with the breaking ball after that. Three and one. Best fastball he's thrown so far. 91 miles an hour right in the middle of the plate. Vallejo, California, 34 years old, turns 35 July 21st. First round pick of the tribe, 20th pick overall in 1998. 3 2. Walked in, second walk. Two out base runner for the Mariners. Alex Hernandez set the pitch this Saturday against the Tampa Bay Rays, and it's your chance. Be part of the King's Court for $35. You can score a ticket in baseball's best seating section, a K card, and a T-shirt. For King's Court tickets, visit Mariners.com slash Felix. Or will he be looking to bounce back? You called it last night. We are spoiled watching him pitch. Yeah, take it for granted at times. We all do. Guilty is charged. I, I just I, I I can tell you this that because of what happened last night, I would not want to be the next team, right? Because he, he usually <laughs> figures it out pretty quick. Yes, indeed. Mike Zanino, three for three in his career against Sabathia. On it goes. Throw down the second Luciano. And it came off the bag. Bummer. Morella stayed with the tag. I don't do it. For the Mariners in the second. No score, Yankees and the Mariners.
Junior selected first pick in the draft in 87 Randy Johnson first no no in team history in 90 and Junior man that's five years ago already. He said I'm done I'm out of here I'm driving home see ya. Uh, and his best I got friend. a report. Somebody, somebody sent me a text and goes, dude, I swear to you, I just saw him at a truck stop right? in Montana. I remember like, what? that. What are you talking about? He's, yeah. he's, he was just in a uniform. Yes, exactly. No, he's not. <laughs> They're in the Hall of Famer. They're in the Hall of Famer. Yeah, tip your waitress. See you later. <laughs> <laughs> Check it out, baby. Pewter choices. We had enough. Rule number one, he'll decide. That's he did. It. Oh, yeah. my goodness. It yeah, was I mean, amazing. After a while, you just say, you know what? Enough's enough. Yeah. I mean, there's certain things that should be said here and stay here when you leave here. And it was just after a while that I think he was. I, I think you came on like that next day or next night. I remember telling that same yeah. story about you. Yeah. Just I mean, it was like. <laughs> could you imagine if you're pumping your car up with gas and you're like, no, there's no way that's King Griffey Jr. Right, yeah, right. Yeah. In Montana somewhere. Yeah, in the middle of the baseball nowhere. season, right? Yeah. Right. yeah. Oh, man. Oh, and now he's enjoying his kids, watching his kids, you know, play at the next level. And good for Which him. Which is on Tampa. Yeah. yeah. How's he looking? Great. Yeah, same. You know. What's his handicap? Because you know he talked about that a little bit. You know, I, I never feel like he's honest with me, though. Uh, yeah, he's the same. Yeah. There's no doubt. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> he is the ultimate. Him and Randy are the ultimate sandbaggers, no doubt about it. <laughs> Begging for strokes the whole thing, oh, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's a give me, you know, all that stuff. He had his son Trey with him to look good. He's got a son and daughter at University good of looking, Arizona. Good looking family. Oh, yeah. One one here to Gardner. What do you think of Montgomery to this point? I, mean, I, I like it. He's attacking the strike zone. Um, but his defense uh, help him out a little bit. And, you know, it's quite uh, quite an honor to come out and get your first big league start, especially if it's against the Yankees. Right. Man. I mean, that's kind of cool for him. So, I'm sure, he's a little nervous. I'm sure that walk in and out of the bullpen was a little a little crazy. It's a little crazy out there. These Yankee fans, man. I I tell you what, they travel well. So, but he's done great. I, when he, he, was, he was walking out of the pen, as you mentioned, it's crazy out there. You, you could hear some of the noise, and there were a lot of "Let's go, Mikey." That's pretty cool, <laughs> you know. And, he, and he, he, you could tell he was trying to keep from smiling about it. Yeah, but especially, I mean, come on, I mean, after what happened last night, too. I mean, that's yeah. and, and it'd be great for him to be able to go out there and help out his bullpen and save the bullpen a little bit. Um, but hey, why not, right? Why not him? Three, two to Gardner. Popped up out of play. Well, this is this is kind of what I was talking about, Jay, before you came over here, and that is for Mike. He has an advantage in that the Yankees haven't seen him. So I, agree. I like the fact that he was able. I know it, it, this is an emotional time for him. He's pretty excited, but he was able to throw strikes. But now he's working his way the second time through. Right. Maybe we'll see the curveball a little bit more. But there's constant challenges as you work your way through, and especially a veteran lineup. They, if they pick anything up, they'll, they'll know it right away. Because they, they, the Yankees, I'll tell you, they can pick up guys that tip pitches, whatever it may be. Tendencies, they're all doing that, especially, you know, second to, like you said, second time around. All right, what do we got to help give us a little bit of an advantage? If there's a way, they're going to do it. Relay and signs if they can get on, but I like it. He keeps attacking and uh, throwing strikes. Man. This could be a great, great lift. Ball club. Found off. Two pitches ago, long foul ball. Check out what happened here. Nice. Made it all the way. It's worth bringing your glove to the ball for it, huh? Three two pitch. Another foul ball by Gardner. Didn't have to waste a beer. Seen a lot of guys wasting sure. their beer lately, it seems like. <laughs> There was, a, remember, there was one not too long ago. A guy's got the, his kid on his chest and just reach Hey, head all the way. Hey, how are you? Good to see you. <laughs> Three and two again. Did he go? He's, oh, walking. Oh, he's, oh, walking. he's, he's walking back, back to, to the, the dugout. Come on. Tony Randazzo, the umpire at third. Lloyd. Letting him hear it. Wow, this is this is bad. When you see the hitter walking back to the dugout, let's take a look at it. Pretty good battle. Tenth pitch of the at bat. He thinks and, he, and he he did. Yeah, I think he thought he he got it on the check swing. Thought they were going to ring him up on that probably. No, I, I think that's you what know? it was. Yeah, yeah, he did not check his swing and he figured he went too far. Yeah. Plus it was a strike. Sorry. <laughs> so that's strike a tough four. Break. Tough break. One out, one on. Chris Young, fly to left first time. I, I would used to say that the old crafty vet umpires that that was a, a rookie call, but, but Tony's been around for a while. Yeah, kind of shaft the rookie out on the mound, you know, type thing. But 
make the make the young kid earn the stripes a little bit. Inside, good sign there. Slowly but surely, Mike. Jay, it's Mariner Ball Club pitching staff working inside, well, establishing showed, everybody. And we showed the numbers since April 27th of where they've been at. Yeah. They have the third best ERA as far as starters going. That's a big part of it. Fernando has to retrieve this one. team. You got to pitch to both sides of the plate, otherwise they're gonna they're gonna knock your teeth out. And well, they'll make you work too, as we just saw from Gardner, a 10 pitch at bat right there. That's Unfortunately, Mike that's ended up winning for. the battle, but yeah. next thing you know, that you miss the call, he gets over there, and here's a, here's a wild pitch, and now they have a runner in scoring position. I said earlier, with Montgomery, he's going to have to go on command and strike zone, but the guys have to play clean defense behind him, the extra outs. I agree. Well, right there, that, that certainly that hurt him. Yeah. Two put some, and one. Put some pressure pitches on him now. This will be playable. Lomo does a good job going back on his balls. Nice job. Gets it back in. Hits a cutoff, good man. Play. Well done. Two down. Almost played an outstanding first this year. We'll take a look at it. Thought maybe he was going to overrun it as we look at our Alaska Supermo and the concentration by Lomo. And it's something that you'll appreciate, Jay. We're talking about how well he's played at first base. Here we are in June, and he was out early today working on making his picks and stuff like that. And I know when you played right field, that was something you didn't take for granted. Come you out have, you have to, man, especially, you know, coming home every every first day in the, when you're on the road. You go out a little early and get to know the field conditions. Come back home after being on a road trip. You got to get reacclimated with the conditions again, your field again. You don't you don't uh, use it. You lose it. So Montgomery, guess who's up? Huh? You know, what, gave, what gave it away, right? Yeah. <laughs> Second leading RBI man for the Yankee Ball Club, Alex Rodriguez, behind Teixeira, who's on deck. Wow. Yeah, pretty good changeup. Wow. Mike DeMuro's got balls and strikes tonight. That's a strike. Alex flying out to right in his first at bat, driving an 11 game hitting streak. Good one. Gardner at second base with plus speed, two outs. Two and two here to A-Rod. Just look at the location of those last three pitches. I, I think that's. That's the equalizer, Jay. You can see a guy come up with a game plan, but down and away usually works. I agree. Back to back, doubled up on a change up down, and it comes with a 92 mile hour fastball in the exact same location. That's tough. But he's got that little equalizer, too, that little cutter. Yeah. And he throws just hard enough to where you can't be cheating and diving out there. Yeah. Otherwise, he'll saw blade you on the inside part. Yeah, his cutter's been 90, 89, yeah. 90. We get out of a two out two on situation in the second. The two two pitch. Count runs full. Mark Teixeira is on deck. He grounded out the second. Teixeira with a big grand slam last night. Big, big pitch. And now Montgomery steps off. To the Rodriguez. Did he go? Did not. He's aboard. Zanino's really hacked off. And will let well, the that's first the second time. He's going to come out and I just, just tossed him out of the out. game. Right? He's fighting for the young pitcher. And I don't blame him. Well, it's going to get his money's worth now. He just ran Zanino. I don't blame him because he's trying to get out there and save his catcher from getting kicked out. No. Gardner's on second base because they missed a call, and right there he thought he had it again, and, and he's fighting for his pitcher. <laughs> I love it. He's blowing a gasket. It's awesome. He's going to give DeMuro 
what for for the last couple of calls. Might as well air everybody out. Get your money's worth times ten. Everybody's getting a piece. I love it. A little hustle, too. <laughs> Do you think he cares? Absolutely. You bet he does. He knows how important this is. Applause for him too. Nice show. <laughs> Huge ovation for Lloyd McClendon. Zanino, Hayes run, Lloyd's run, and Rendazzo, Mike, you remember last year, gave Lloyd a lot of guff in Detroit. And that's going back even a few years before that. What an ovation for the Mariners skipper here tonight. Arlington Castillo will take over behind the plate. Good move. Rick Waits going out to the mound now to talk to the young pitcher. A lot going on. Here's it right here. Mike Zanino. This is the one that gets him thrown out. He has for help right away and starts to walk to the dugout. He thought he had it for sure. So two check swings. Didn't get either one of them. And you can see right there, Mike Zanino had enough. Will Little's the umpire at first. Mike DeMuro at home plate. Mike thought for sure he'd gone. I think if you ask A-Rod and Hoyt, Hoyt, he'd tell you the same thing. So would it was a really an earlier one. No, you're absolutely right, Dave. It was a really good pitch, too. And that's what you hate to see is him executing pitches and, and not getting credit for it. But I like the fact that Rick Waits is out there now. You have a young pitcher, his first day in the big leagues, and all this is going oh, on, Dave. Oh, man. I agree. Coming back down again. Boy, oh, boy. But I agree with you. I mean, he, his misses, I mean, if you call him misses are in the same place, you're supposed to tip your hat, give the guy a little love, open it up a little bit. He's staying right there. He's establishing the strike zone. Let's go. Wellington Castillo is in the game now, so to give him a few minutes to play some catch and get loose. He certainly wasn't expecting to play here in the third inning. First career ejection for Zanino, 31st for Lloyd McClendon. And Jay, I like the fire with Zanino right there. I, I like it. I like what he did right there. I agree. I agree. Stick it up for his staff, man. The Yankees have two out, two on again. Look out! Down the line, fair ball. Coming around is Gardner. He'll score. Rodriguez being held at third, and RBI double mark to Cheryl. One nothing Yankees. All the two outs, man. First pitch, hammered it. For Teixeira's 40th RBI on his 10th double. Boy, oh boy. There's Zanino going back to the A rod at back. He's pointing, he's walking to the dugout. He thinks for sure it's a punch out. Saying let's go. So the Yankees have a one nothing lead. Runners at second and third, two out in what has been an inning of tumult. Chase Headley grounded out the short. Strike one. More like it, right? A little friendly competition. Oh, doesn't, yeah. doesn't get so friendly after a while, does it? Hey, that's kinda okay get, kinda too. Get, kinda gets things going. With the okay. eye, oh boy, it's amazing how you can turn into Snappy Tom that, that quick. A little buzzsaw action here. People fired up. Yep. 26 pitches this inning for the rookie Montgomery. Yeah, that's the other part of it. He'd have been out a while ago. Yeah. Get ahead of a whole cup of coffee by now. Ball in two strikes to Headley. Swing and Castillo holds on, and that will do it. Good grief. Questionable calls by the umpire and staff as the Yankees get a run. It's one nothing, New York.
one nothing Yankees middle game of a three game set and the defending world champion San Francisco Giants. They make the trip up the coast for two game set with the Mariners coming up on Wednesday June 17th and Thursday June 18th. Line up your tickets today for this rare interleague matchup by visiting Mariners.com. So you're Mike Montgomery you get your first big league start. Give me some of the many things he's going to remember after two and a half innings. Oh, when he calls home mom and dad, hey, how was your first big league start? Well, um, I started catcher, got kicked out, my manager. He'll never forget that first start well, just because of that, right? Well, exactly. First of all, it's the Yankees. Yeah. Secondly, he's probably a pretty big fan of CC Sabathia being a left-handed pitcher. Right, good call. Yeah. And it's a home game. And oh, by the way, my catcher was tossed in the third and my manager. But other than that, having a good time. Yeah. Wow, one nothing, and they did get squeezed. In so a couple this is calls. what the big leagues is all about, huh? All right. Now you guys lived in the Yankee culture for a little bit before coming over to the Mariners. <laughs> and Jay, you were just saying during the late uh, George Steinbrenner, he used to love. They love stirring the pot, right? man. Oh heck yeah, it's you know it starts at the top. He would get it going. There's no doubt about it. Here's Wellington Castillo batting in a spot vacated by Zanino, and he gets called out on strikes. That's Sabathia's third K. First looking. Well, CC is just going to slow, slow, and slowest. And at some point, I would think guys are going to go up there and just sit on it at this stage. He's going to keep throwing. I, it. I, you weren't over here yet, but I, I was saying sometimes too, especially if you've had it bats off of the pitcher, and CC is a different guy now, but his oh, reputation man. and what you're used to seeing, oh, it may take it at bat for you to figure it out, Absolutely. right? Absolutely. You're like, no, that's no way he's that same guy. I'm not going to. I mean, obviously the ego, you don't want to get beat on a fastball. I mean, so you're going to go and hit off the fastball. But first, after the first A-B, if he's just thumbing, 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 I'm like, all right, well, maybe I'm going to take away part of that play. Austin Jackson, double down the right field line on an 0-2 pitch. Lead off the Mariners home first. 1-1. It's kind of the middle, middle part of the game, Mike. You know, you got to go up there. You, you got an approach. You can't come off your approach. And sometimes you guess right, man. That's exactly right. One on one to Jackson. Line drive, left field. It will. That's true. In and out of the glove of Young. He recovers quickly, and Jackson will hold at first. That'll be a base hit. He's two for two. Fastball 90 miles an hour right on the inside corner. Looking line drive into left and a late break by Young as he tries to make the diving catch. I think just enough look to get it to get under his glove. That's a tough play for an outfielder too, to come in. in. Yeah, and he kind of hit it off the end of the bat a little bit too, so you got the sound of the bat, and so you're kind of see the big swing. Yeah, right? you see a big swing, and and then you then you get to no man's land, and then you. Don't want to let it get by you, so you got to do everything you can to knock it down, too. Only Blomquist to the left center field gap and deep. Gardner tracking. He's there to make the catch. Jackson got the second. And he'll come back. That's out number two. We're in a fan's your local Ford store, hosting a peanut butter drive at Safeco Field this Friday against the Rays. Fans attending the game on June 5th. Bring in your unopened peanut butter donation to Safe Gold Field to contribute to the Ford Focus on Child Hunger campaign. All right, so Robinson Cano, Mike, Jay, strikes out on an 0-2 pitch. I think it goes back to what you were just talking about. That's not the same CC Bathia right. played with or have seen over the years. Yeah, he was, I mean, when I faced him, he was 96 with a big 12-6 curveball, nasty. A little cameo from time to time, and now he's topping out maybe at 90. That was 91, so. And I've never seen him throw his off speed pitches this slow. I mean, it's got like two different speeds. He's throwing like a little frisbee to the lefties. It's a slur, but about 80 yeah. miles an hour. Yeah. But, you know, he's a crafty vet, man, and he's, he's figuring out a way to get out. And Cano Ooh. gets it past the diving Perella. Jackson will hold it, take a bobble in the outfield by Beltran. And Jackson will get the third with two outs. Runners at the corners for Nelson Cruz. Thank you. Just take advantage of that right there. A little yeah. bobble in the outfield, get a guy in scoring position anyway to get the run in. There's an interesting thing right there, though, in his first at bat. 
Sabathia threw him a good fastball inside and then went to two slurs. Yeah. This time, fastball inside, and he came right back with it. And Robbie was able to hit it hard into right field. Yeah, he squared that up. He hit it hard. That's good stuff. Runners hit the corners. Cruz blocked at a 3 2 pitch in his first at bat. Error on Beltran. Ball kind of came up on him. Third error. Coming out there. Third error on the veteran. Huh. One nothing Yankees. That was the third Mariner hit. The other way, base hit. Tie ball game and 1 1. Digging for third. He'll get there easily as Canales. Nelson Cruz drives in his 39th run and we got a 1 1 game. It's like that little mini shift, huh? You drive a truck through that hole. He does a great job of hitting it where it's pitched. You know, we've talked about that in the past, Mike, about how normally when they play a shift, you don't pitch to the shift. And right, then it's a change up away from yeah. it. And so good for him. It's a huge hole. He just hits it right there. And yeah, we, we've seen him do that, especially with runners in scoring position. He'll take a take, shot to the right side. Take of the what they field. give you. I that's love right. it. Well, William, that's why he's got it. That's why he's leading baseball in RBI. That's why he's, what is he, third in the league, I think? Right now, that ties him four. No, one behind Jashara. Jashara with 40. He's got 39. Here's Seeger. And Cruz also leading in DH balloting for the All Star game. They should be. Absolutely. Look at 2.1 mil. Oh, look at Perez. Look at all the kids. See, players. It was, it was a two, four, five, six guys from Kansas City. Somebody's <laughs> taking advantage of their 35 yeah. votes. <laughs> Isn't that cheating? Oh, are you allowed to do that? Chicago <laughs> style, baby. Chicago style. It used to be New York style. That's yeah. it. Good point. Hopped up. Yeah. Just into the Yankee dugout. So Seager will keep this bat alive. 0 oh 2. Two outs. Two on. 1-1 one, one game here in the third. Just joining us. Mike Zanino tossed. Lloyd McClendon tossed. Tight, tough calls went against the Mariners in the Yankee top th top of the third. The Mariners have come back here. Three hits in the inning. Seeger bobblehead night. Why not put an exclamation point on it right here? There's the 0-2. Seems to always get interesting whenever you play the Yankees or the Yankees come to town. Gotta love it. It's a show within itself. Well, it's just so critical, you know. I, again, the Mariners, especially with them playing so many close games, and, and you miss a couple of calls and it hurts. Ooh, and a swing and a miss on a terrific breaking ball by CC so Matthew, but. Nelson Cruz drives in the tying run as the Mariners get a run on three hits, no, and one error, and leave two. It's a 1 1 game. Safe Cofield, a 1 1 ball game as we take a look at the Mariners' calendar brought to you by Sleep Country USA. 
Going to wrap up the series tomorrow, 1240 start time. Look for you out here. And then Tampa Bay comes to town for four games. We're going to see former Mariner Rosmo Ramirez on Thursday. The Mariners hit the road. Cleveland, Houston, and San Francisco. And then the Giants come here. So we'll see four days with the defending world champions. They've won the world championship three times in the last five years. So you're saying it's getting easier, the schedule for them, huh? <laughs> you're right. Not only that, some of the buzzsaw starters they've had to face in the last week alone. People don't understand. That? I mean, why can I ever talk man. about that? Guys just nice matchups. <laughs> Way to go. <laughs> it's like, come on. Uh, so you finally get a guy that's throwing 89 like tonight and CC and you're like, yes, all right. And he's just going, just slow, slow, and slower on you. And you're like, Okay, well, and he's got four K's already through three and then Sunday. We see Chris Archer again. You see that game that last kid, week? That kid. Oh, the reason on Friday. <laughs> that kid, he looks 16. He doesn't throw like he's 16, though. He has eight strikeouts in the first four innings against the Angels tonight. He believes in his stuff, man, and it's good. It I, is good. I tell you what, last year, remember, he had a couple little deals where, you know, he was getting a little cocky out there, and uh, I like it, man. Be the president of your fan club. Why not? You got stuff like that. Respect the game, but still at the same time. Great kid too. You like? Him. Yeah, you really. Like I him. like his stuff. Yeah. Holy cow! What a matchup that was. Those two guys going against each other. That was special. That was fun to watch. And the King. Ooh. Two and two to Carlos Beltran leading off the fourth, followed by Jose Perella and John Ryan Murphy, six, seven, and eight. Mike Montgomery up to the challenge, boys. I, I think he's pitched well. Ground ball, Seeger attacked it. Nicely done. I love that right there. One out. In between hop. Didn't hesitate. Goes and gets it. Trust his hands. Instead of backing up on it. A couple of years ago was one of the things that Kyle and I had talked about when he first went over to third base. And he, he, he got it right away. When being a middle infielder, usually you sit back a little bit more, get a better hop. And we were talking about it and how important that first step is. And if you're in doubt, be aggressive and go get it. I agree. It. And he's he's so good at smothering the baseball. Even on the in-between hops, he makes it look a lot easier than it is. Especially that cut. You know all about that. That cut, it gets a little dicey over there when it starts getting close to that little hop right on the edge. It'll make you look really bad. You got to stay low, right? <laughs> <laughs> stay low, baby. <laughs> You can see right away coming in and attacking. This right here is what I mean by smothering it. You can see using both hands. That's another thing, too. Look at him. Both hands. I mean, legit both hands. Sees it all the way in. Keeps his eyes down. Pretty special. No doubt he's swinging a hot bat right now, but his defense. It's always good. Yeah. Thank goodness he got some gold finally. Got a little respect. Two balls, well two strikes. Well oh, deserved. Yeah, no doubt. You guys talk about it all the time. I hear you guys talking about him. All the managers around the league. They know how much they is. respect him and the way he goes about his business and little grunt sticks his nose in there. And I love that man. Plays with an attitude. You try to get inside on him and it'll shock the world on you. Two balls, two strikes. Mike Montgomery called up from AAA Tacoma. Hey, we need a starter. Well, so far, so good. One run on three hits. Struck out one walk, two. Off the oh, fist. Saw blade. <laughs> Throw the knuckles. <laughs> There's that little cutter. Keep you honest, man. Don't be diving on me. It's Star Wars night. Right here at Safeco Field. It's set for Friday, June 19th. Mariners will be hosting the Astros. Going to get a chance to meet more than 35 Star Wars characters, and there'll be a post game Star Wars themed fireworks show. For tickets, visit Mariners.com. Two outs here in the fourth. John Ryan Murphy, the catcher, ground out to second. Strike one. Too. Tell you what, his confidence oh, is building, isn't it? Yeah, had a little delay a game and came right back throwing strikes. I like it. Mike Montgomery. 
spot vacated by the injured James Paxton. Slow roller goes foul. Starting to mix in his curveball a little bit more. 12 6 curveball. First pitch strike with it. Came back with the cutter down and in. Another curveball at 74 miles an hour. Castillo, veteran, knowing that, guys. Better change it up a little. Give him a little dip. Just put a little point of seed. A little different look in there. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. How about Mike Montgomery in the fourth? One, two, three. Go the Yankees. It's a 1 1 game here at Safe Go Field. A piece between the Yankees and the Mariners. Right now, we go a little bit north of here. Ebbets Field Flannel for uh, our third Twitter Tuesday question of the night. Here is question three. Using hashtag root Q3, tell us which New York City professional baseball team wore this hat for your chance to win a root sports blanket. No running up to uh, Ebbets Field to figure this one out. A reminder, the winners are chosen at random. Guys, back upstairs to you. Well, my guess would be the New York Black Yankees and the Negro Leagues going way back, probably in the 20s, is my guess. On that cap as Ricky Weeks leads off. Weeks, Morrison, and Ruggiano, 6, 7, and 8 here in the fourth. CC Sabathia, four strikeouts, two walks through the first three innings, giving up a run on four hits. RBI by Cruz, base hit to right field. In the third inning, after to share in the top half of the inning, a two out double to the left scored the Yankee run. Ricky Wake's due for a run here, Mike. He's done a good job pitch hitting this year. It's been in his starts that he struggled a little bit, so yeah, you're right. Get a couple of hits against the left handers and get rolling in the right direction. Gardner a couple of steps toward right for Ricky. One, two. Struck him out. Fifth strikeout for CeCe. He's got him back to back here. Straight off for Lomo. Logan Morris looking to extend his hitting streak to 10 games. So Matthew's season high, nine strikeouts. He's got five here in the fourth inning. I like how Murphy kind of moved in kind of early on the inside. I know as a hitter, I used to kind of cheat a little bit, kind of feel the catcher moving in. So now you kind of maybe cheat for that little cutter, and then he went with the changeup. He got me too. I'd have been walking back, tip of my head as well. <laughs> I'd have spun myself right in the ground. Too. But that's what I mean, it's, that's the cat and mouse game. You got to do whatever you can to try to get the upper end. And if you get the little Google eye where you kind of peek out the corner a little bit, and, all right, you got me, man. Big shift on from Marson. Hit it the other way. Foul. Nice clean catch behind the dugout.
Two balls, one strike. This another guy needs to get hot. For him. You know, when he gets going, he can he can throw up some thunder in a hurry. Got a good run last year. I'd like to see him get get going again. That's what they're waiting on right now. He has another hitting streak going, but he's just not hitting the ball out of the ballpark. And I know that's something that they'd like to see happen. Not just hitting it out of the ballpark, but squaring something up too at in storm position. That's the thing that I think kind of stands out a little bit right now with the Mariners. Has it homered since May 12 against the Padres? Sixth home run. Mariners here on the 2nd of June have lost three consecutive ball games at four or five. Just oh, over the outstretched glove of Perella, base hit for Lomo. Hitting streak at 10 games. Pretty good hitting, too. And left handed hitters in the lineup tonight have had a tough time on the slope, breaking ball to slurve. And this one is actually just off the plate away and down. He stays with it. Solid line drive over the second baseman's head. Good extension right there, too. I like that. Nice little slow mo. I might have pulled his glove off if he got a glove on it. Here's Ruggiano walked in a 3 2 pitch and was thrown out trying to steal. JR 0 for 6 against CC Sabathia. Ruggiano checks Rich Dolly, a third base coach. Two on one out for the Mariners here in the fourth inning. Well, back to back change ups this last one. 83 miles an hour right on the outside corner. Find the hole on the left side of the infield. Castillo took over in the top of the third when Zanino, along with Lloyd McClendon, was thrown out of the ball game. Trent Jewett, the bench coach, running the ship now. Chance to get the lead here. That was the sixth hit by the Mariners. A run on six hits. Yankees have a run on three hits with one error. We're going to go around the horn here to get the double play to end the inning. Headley to Perella, 2 to Sheriff. One one game here at Safe Gold Field. visit to town 
As we take a look at our Delta Airlines, keep climbing standings. This Houston Astros, the lead down to four and a half. By the way, congratulations to Albert Pujols. Hit career home run number 534 earlier tonight. The tie, Jimmy Double X Fox for 17th for all time. He's on a roll. Yes, he right is. Now. I hit one yesterday, yes, too. sir. Mariners going to see plenty of the Astros, the Astros this month. Like three and three. Three there, three here. So a chance to cut it. It's kind of good to see because we used to call them the last rows. Yeah, well. So who's laughing now? Yeah. yeah. Well, no one's over there working a little magic. He's got his son in there doing right. a little bit too. Talking about Nolan Ryan. Stephen Drew leads off here in the top of the fifth, followed by Brett Gardner and Chris Young. Nine, one, and two against Mike Montgomery. Montgomery, one and one to Drew, grounded out to Cano in his first at bat. Montgomery with two strikeouts. He's walked two, giving up a run on three hits. Oh, man. Yeah, he's starting to use the uh, curveball. That's a, a nice curveball. That's nice to have in the back. Uh, wait and save that for later on. Bouncing ball. Momo takes it. Flips to Montgomery. Ooh, he just got there. One out. Five consecutive hitters retired by Montgomery. Him all the way. Top of the order, and Brett Gardner round out to short walk and a run scored. Scored on the Tashira RBI double in the third. Backing up Ruggiano, turns him around. No, oh, they can't get it. Gardner's aboard with one out. That's that's tough as an outro right there. You start to go one way and get into a back pedal, and the second you get into a back pedal, you're standing straight up. Hard to recover from because now your eyes start to bounce because your head's bouncing. He's playing shallow. Got a good jump on it. Double for sometimes Gardner. you're just better off going if you're going to your left, just taking your eye off the ball. And, Turn in and trying to pick it back up again instead of trying to do the little back pedal, the little karaoke as we used to always do at tightening, or you can call it stretching before the game. <laughs> tightening. <laughs> I never understood oh. why you did that one. Oh, oh man. Oh, one. Dave Deuter joining us here tonight. 21 to Chris Young. He's 0 for 2. The double by Gardner, his 11th of the season. And you're right, Mike. The Mariners can't afford to keep giving extra outs. It's going to yeah, come yeah. back. It's going to come back and bite you. Well, if you look at this game, I mean, the, the one run out score was Gardner when he walked when he should have been struck out. And that, that turned into a run because the problem with it, especially with him at the top of the order, is they have two guys in the middle of their lineup right now that are driving in all the runs, and that's A-Rod and Teixeira. And you're going to have to pitch to them, but you'd rather do it without a guy's on base, especially in scoring position. Ball two strikes to Chris Young. It's funny you mentioned those two guys too, and A-Rod to Shira, and how both of them they're like, ah, oh, maybe they're at the end. And both of them, it looks like the, they complement each other pretty good. A little, a little challenge between the two, doing some damage. To Shira starts today, tied for second in home runs and tied. With the league leader runs batted in. I think people had him written off. There's some people that said he's probably done. It's good to see him. Fifth and slugging. Up. He's fifth and slugging. A Rod came in eighth and slugging. Although I don't want him to do it against us. He did last night. Two balls, two strikes. One out, Gardner at second. And I'll swim her right down the line, takes Lomo to the back. Two outs, and over to third goes Gardner. He's having a tough time with this curveball. 
I like the fact that State Fair, I thought it was going to score a foul. Yeah, especially when he ended off the end of the bat like that, spinning like a top. Take the out. So, Jay, where do you remember about 96, 1996, when uh, Alex uh, became a breakout player? A little, a little, went from a young pup to uh, the next year just creating havoc and doing some thunder, man. He was always a specimen, no doubt about it. Great player, great talent. Good kid. Workaholic, I will say that's one thing. He showed up late a couple of times, and then some of the veteran guys got a hold of him. That was the end of that. But one thing to this day still, talking to Tony Pena, he's still a workaholic. He mm -hmm. still works hard, loves getting to the ballpark early. Two new hips. Feels great. <laughs> Blumquist calling everybody off. That's there we done. go. Right. Nicely That's done, buddy. Mike like Montgomery it. showing well through five in this 1 1 game. One one ball game in this copyrighted telecast is presented by authority of the Seattle Mariners and may not be reproduced or retransmitted in any form. And the accounts and descriptions of this game may not be disseminated without the express written consent of the Seattle Mariners. Dave Sims, Mike Flowers, special guest tonight, Jay Buner, the Mariner Hall of Famer. One one game, good pitching battle. CC Sabathia and the rookie Mike Montgomery. Good night for Austin Jackson, two for two, double to right. Single to left, and he scored the Mariners' only run in the third on the RBI by Nelson Cruz. Then it won to Jackson. It'll be top of the order. Jackson, Blomquist, and Cano. You got to be impressed with CC. I mean, being able to get out, it just goes to show you out there that you don't have to throw 95-96. Lost his last two ball games to at Oakland and against the Rangers. Hasn't won a game since the 16th of May at Kansas City. Seven innings and a 5 1 victory. 1 1. Jackson with the hits tonight. He's extended his hitting streak to six ball games. Side three and one. Well, like Bloomquist on deck, he's over two. Through the hole, base hit. What a night for Austin Jackson. He's three for three.
Another pitch on the outside corner. This time it's a fastball at 89 miles an hour. He's got a couple of hits through the left side of the infield. That's a good sign for him. And Jackson, what a night. Three for three. But more importantly, getting your leadoff hitter on again. Especially a guy with speed. Get the ball in the gap right here and watch him carry the mail. Well, and then you have Willie coming up. And Willie mm -hmm. was hitting 400 in his career against Sabathia. Pretty good hole on the right side of the infield if he wants to take a shot to right, which is typically what Willie will do. Strike one to Willie. Round out the second fly to center. Good back control, too. Good guy to maybe hit and run with. Get a little motion going. That base hit by Jackson, the seventh tonight for the Mariners. Way outside, 1 1. Yankee scored first, top the third. Two out RBI double to left by Mark Teixeira, bottom half of the inning. Mariners come right back, Cruz through the right side, a base hit scores Jackson. And in that third, Mike Zanino called, thrown out of the game, as well as manager Lloyd McClendon. Couple of calls didn't go the Mariners' way. On pitches and appeals down the first. And we had some fireworks. Unscheduled. <laughs> it was very entertaining. It was. <laughs> it really was. I won't lie to you, it was. One, two. That's the Headley tough hop. Try to get one. Will he beats it out? Everybody's safe. All right, I like it. It's one of the things that I was talking about on the radio side with the Yankees at the start of this series, and they have struggled in the field. 13th in fielding, and you want to take advantage of that when you can. And here it is. This just eats him up. Again, one of the things we take for granted with Kyle over there, a play that he'll normally be aggressive and come get. Headley decides to sit back on it. See him sitting back, and a lot of top spin on that second hop. It's him right in the belt buckle. So a nice break for the Mariners. E5, first and second for Robinson Cano. Base hit the right field his last time up. Headley with his 12th error of the season. Robbie struck out the first time. 0 1 pitch, single to right in the third. Error by Headley, the second Yankee error. Right fielder Beltran made an error in the third. Helped lead to a run. All one. There's two men have reached here. In the fifth inning, Mariners bidding for the lead with Cano. You get Cruz and Seager still to come. Trent Jewett running the show with Lloyd McClendon back in his office watching this ball game. Run on seven hits for the Mariners. 1 0 pitch. Takes it for ball two. Cruz on deck. Two, two oh pitch, and it's in there. Robbie didn't appear to like that call. Two one, two and one to count. You're in the fifth. Two on. Didn't want to give in to him with a fastball right there. Cano hit a fastball in the right field his last time up. They came right back with the slow breaking ball again. That's even more amazing. Knowing him from the past to see him throw a two oh little frisbee up there. Going back is Gardner. Jackson tags, bluffs, and holds. Gardner hits the cutoff, man. And there's one away. Safeco Insurance and the Mariners. They invite you to do more with the Grand Slam family package. Four tickets, hot dogs, and Pepsi soft drinks for one low price. It's coming up Thursday when the Mariners play host to the Rage. Visit Mariners.com to pick up family package tickets today. One out, two on for Nelson Cruz.
Cruz walked in a 3 2 pitch and then first pitch swinging. A couple of men aboard, single to right in the third, and that tied the ball game at 1 1. Side corner, 0 and 2. So Cruz got to do some 0 2 hitting here. One out, two on. Baseball one. Big spot here for the Mariners. One and two to Cruz. High drive, center field, backing up Gardner. He's got room though in front of the track. Makes the catch, and Jackson Lee's over to third with two outs. Not quite enough. Boy, he can hit him high, can he? <laughs> he <laughs> really can. This. this is on a fastball in the inside corner. And just missed it. Yes, he did. One for two night for Cruz of the walk. All right, what's Kyle Seeger learned after striking out on a one two pitch twice? I was going to see that slow slur that we've been talking about. He's thrown it to Kyle a number of times. One. Well, I agree. That's the chance right there. One pitch, you go up and guess one strike, and if you don't get it, then you go back to staying in the middle and doing whatever your approach is. But yeah, I thought he would be sitting on that right there. Real one. Right down a bunt. CC makes the play. Seager retired, and that ends the Mariner threat. No runs on one hit, one error, two left. Played five in a 1 1 game. Taste the new black pepper cheeseburger today only at Jack in a Box by Geico. 15 minutes could save you 15% or more on car insurance. By CenturyLink, your link to what's next. 
and by Money Tree, proud to make a donation to Mariners Care for every Mariners win. Take you back to Ebbets Field finals as we look at Mark Teixeira leading off. Good crowd, 27,442. Here at Safe Goldfield, middle game, three games set. To Shara Hentley and Beltran, four, five, and six for the Yankees. Breaking ball fouled off. An old fashioned pitcher's duel between a couple of crafty lefties right now, huh? Gotta love it. Gotta yeah. love it. Up and in, and that cap we had shown you earlier is from the Brooklyn Eagles of the Negro National League from the mid 30s. Look at you, good call. I had uh, the New York Black Yankees. I, I was in the right neighborhood, at least. New York sort of gave it away, but I know it was in the Negro Leagues. <laughs> what you guys see? Uh, did you see it, Mike? When he CC was walking off after that AB by Seager, did you see that little, gave him a little hand wave, like swing the bat in a roundabout way? I didn't see right. it. Three call it. to yeah. Shara thought he had a free one. Mike DeMuro, the home plate umpire, rings him up. Let's take a look. Here's what Jay was just referring to. Seager trying to bunt his way on. You can see him almost slap, but he knew he had to get it past Zabathia, the third baseman, playing back. Yeah, but look at CeCe. Look at him. Let's go swing the, you know, bat. Mm-hmm. Let's go. <laughs> and. And. Uh, I hate to say it, but uh, number five hitter, I, I'm kind of right there with him on that one. But I guess you're here. It gets by him. It's uh, RBI, right? It's a base hit. Base hit. But still, <laughs> still, it's like. Appreciate the fire. Uh, picking on the left, you're picking on me. I don't think I can feel my position. Be, inter be interesting to see what the next bat at AB mm -hmm. uh, has in store if he's still out there. Be quite interesting because in your past experience uh, we could have a benches clearing little ruckus going on again some more guys getting ejected good clean fun though well Kyle could take him 20 rows deep and say there I swung the bat for you <laughs> <laughs> yell to the bat boy bat boy come get it <laughs> or that could happen <laughs> two and two here to Headley he's over two grand out in the strikeout Boys, you gotta love what Montgomery's done. Here he is, two outs in the sixth. I agree. Man, oh man, this is good stuff. Wrap up this series tomorrow. Masahiro Tanaka against Taiwan Walker. CenturyLink, what's next? Japanese media will be in full force tomorrow. And you're hoping that Taiwan Walker can pick up where he left off the other day. I trust my 97. Well, he's pretty spectacular. Mark Lowe getting loose in the pen. 92 pitches now for Montgomery. So oh, that's a pleasant surprise. Mark Lowe. I mean, he's done a heck of a job he, down there. And he has his fastball love, back and his sliders. Uh, I'm nasty. happy for him because he's a great, great guy and a great teammate. So it's good to see him back. And they needed it too. Montgomery went six or more innings in seven of his nine starts at Tacoma this year. That's a great sign. He's ahead of Beltran 0 2. I think his pitch count. They kept oh, somewhere gonna, between 90 and 100, and he's there now with 94 thing. pitches. The yeah. 2 That will get foul. They have two hits in the second, a run on one hit in the third, and a base hit in the fifth. It's been outstanding. Oh, 2 it up there. Two out, nobody on pitch. Swing and a miss. Scotty tagged by Castillo and Mike Montgomery, a big tip of the cap to the young man. Third strikeout as he goes six strong innings, and the Mariners really needed a huge ovation here at Safe Go Field.
this an easy one. Mr. Mike Montgomery, just what the doctor ordered. You had to be impressed with the way that he commanded the strike zone. Was it down in the zone? A lot of ground ball outs on his defense helped him out. Pretty good cutter. I thought the first time through the line, basically a fastball changeup combination, Jay. And then all of a sudden he started Went mixing that in curveball. that curveball. And a nice curveball, too. Give him a little different look. What a great job. Save the bullpen a little bit. 25-year-old mm -hmm. from Valencia, California. Six innings of four strikeout baseball. Walk two, giving up a run on four hits. I think he would have taken five and just keep me in the ball game, and he did more than that, giving you the six innings and the one run. It's a that shame. He probably that, shouldn't have given up in even that. Right. That's it, it's a shame that uh, you know what 25 pitches or whatever it was on that. Added hole. to him after that. Yeah. The two so that would have cut. I mean, that's at least one more inning he can go back out there, especially the way he's throwing. Oh, you're right. Two and one to Ricky Weeks is 0 for two tonight. He ran out and strike out. Boy, his heart must be pumping like crazy. Major league debut, and that's what he's done. The 27 pitches in the third inning. Yeah, you could probably add what 12 to 14. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Ricky Weeks left center field stand in the yard. Chris Young is there. Come on, Loma, walk in the one right here for him. Loma, last time up, base hit the center, extended his hitting streak to 10 games. He's one for two. Cut that frisbee off at the pass right here. To share an RBI double in the third with two outs, bottom half of that inning. Cruz an RBI single to right with two outs. One one game. Strike one to Logan. Matthew pitching here in the sixth. He went six in his last outing. Loss at Oakland down the line. That's a base oh, hit. Piece of hit now. Second hit for Morrison. Take a big turn. He'll hold. One out single. Last time it was on the breaking ball. This time an elevated fastball up out over the plate. Opportunity building here, one out, one on. David Carpenter getting loose for the Yankees. Ball one. Justin Ruggiano, JR tonight. Walked, tried to steal second, had it, and then came off the bag. Then delivered a base hit to left in a second time up. Pitching coach. Nice outing. Nice debut. It's a lot to smile about right there, huh? Mm -hmm. It's a happy guy right there. Got just four hits. <laughs> Not bad, right? <laughs> two walks. Probably shouldn't have had either one of them. That's right. And this against the number two home run hitting team in the league behind Houston and just ahead of the Mariners. Mark Lowe up next. Run on eight hits, no errors for the Mariners. Run on four hits, two errors for the Yankees. Two one, runner goes. It swung on and fouled off. And a good lead and a good jump by Logan. He would have had that easy. Marson two for two in base stealing this year. Channel one for seven now against Sabathia. And blows that one by him. Strikeout number six for CeCe. And there's two away. 
here in the six MLB.tv premium the number one live streaming sports service celebrating 13 years watch every out of market game live or on demand at UHD on over 400 devices real time highlights live look ins pitch tracking and more every night every device blackout and other restrictions do apply visit MLB.tv for details two outs in Wellington Castillo. Took over when Zanino was thrown out of the game, and seconds later, Lloyd McClendon was run. Broken bat looper down the line. That's a fair ball. Logan Morrison will dig for third. Two out base knocked by Wellington Castillo sets it up for Austin Jackson who's having a three for three night. It's a change up right off the end of the bat. It's all right not a hero. Oh you love him. <laughs> That's perfect right down the line. He didn't know where it, it was. Too. Yeah. That's what's funny he's looking for it. It's like. And Joe Girardi on his way out of the dugout. So CC Sabathia. He's at 94 pitches right now. I think he's going to talk to him first. Jeff Carpenter ready to go yeah. in the pen. Hey, tip my hat to CC, man. Nice job. Get him out of there. It Please, is. thank you. He's dealing. When we come back, we'll show you what happened to Mike Zanino and Lloyd McClendon earlier in this ball game. 1-1 one, one here at Safeco Field. Gardner thought it was a strikeout victim. Mike DeMuro says it was ball four. So that was not pleasing to the man right. Here's Zanino. He thinks he has a strikeout on Rodriguez. Will Little says no. He runs Zanino right here. Let's go. He gets run right here. And then Lloyd McClendon comes out. And Little runs him as soon as he gets there. And the beautiful thing about Lloyd, he touched on. He didn't miss an umpire. There's four guys. He got them all. <laughs> And Lloyd's upset too because he's trying to get out there and save his catcher and right. give him a chance to Never get out there. Chance, exactly. But you're right. He went around each umpire that kind of, in his opinion, blew a call and gave him his piece. I love it. I love it. A little hat kick. A little bit proud with that too. As soon as he kicked the hat, everybody <laughs> said, hey, there's Lou. And I like the little sprint out to the third base umpire too just to give him a little piece. That was pretty solid. Well, you, you were having some serious flashbacks, weren't you? Oh, man. I mean, that was, that was pretty good. You could see he's getting heated, more and more heated now. That neck was bowing up a little bit, like an elk in rut. Oh, man, he's going after it. 
Nice having a Diet Pepsi watching it on TV. <laughs> <laughs> Have one for me, bud. <laughs> Nicely done. Cheers. Austin Jackson. Three hit game and he's going to have to tell this. Look at that. He's still got it. And he and Tony Rendazzo have a bad sky. history. <laughs> Lloyd earned a lot of kudos. Mariner fans here in the building and watching and listening at home. 27,442 here at Safe Cold Field. I mean, look at those eyes, man. Right. That says Fire. it all right there. But I had the tiger. And he, all of you. He's getting and you all too. Of you. <laughs> and he went to the second base up. And you too. <laughs> standing ovation on his way back to the dugout. Complete standing ovation. Austin Jackson, his first three hit game since April 30th against Houston. It was three for five that night. Got a double and two singles with a run scored this evening. Base hit would be clutch right here. Give the Mariners the lead. Runners at first and third with two down. Able to check two balls and two strikes. Joe Girardi with bench coach Rob Thompson. David Carpenter coming over to the Yankees from Atlanta on New Year's Day along with Chase and Shreve who we saw last night. Two and two. A little heavy super sinker running in on the knuckles huh. Nice job of staying alive right there. I'd have to say the line of the night is your elk line without question. No more <laughs> calls we have a winner. Now you know how they get. Two and two. Hit it bad so far. See if he can finish it off now. Only Bloomquist on deck. Only 0 for 3. Big spot for Austin Jackson. Three hits tonight. Hitting streaky. Extended to six games. Mariners trying to end a three game losing streak. Pitching wise, Mike Montgomery's done his job and then some. 3 2 runners go. Oh, Base that. hit center field. Two one yeah. Mariners. Austin Jackson digging for two and there he is. Forehead late for AJ, and the Mariners lead it two to one in the sixth. Wow. Well, he finished it off. What a great at bat. Wow. Great AB right there. A great hustle right out of the box, though. Busted into a double right there. Looks like it was a pretty good pitch. 97 mile an hour fastball towards the outside corner. It was definitely down, and he just stayed with it and lined it. Mike Montgomery. Pretty excited about that base hit too. He's in line to get the win right now. Look at that ball is down. Good hitting. Four for four for Austin Jackson. A run scored and an RBI and two in the pond here for Willie Bloomquist with two outs. Ten hits for the Mariners tonight. For the Mariners starting tonight with the worst batting average in the American League. Ten hits trying to add to the tally here in the sixth. On a one to Willie. First four hit game for Jackson since August 9th of 2013 when he was with the Tigers and that was at New York going four for six in that ball game. That run charged to CC Sabathia. A one one. Oh good. It's Spike away up. and Castillo a runner at third the catcher. Smart play to hold the fort. Pretty quick by Murphy back there huh. Yeah. Man. 
impressive to get leather on that. It was. First to keep it in front of him, and secondly, how quickly he was able to get to it. Ninety-six spiked. Oof. Blomquist one for one against Carpenter. He's got a two-one pitch coming. Shoots one right side, backs up Beltran. He's there, but the Mariners in the sixth take the lead on a run. Three hits, no errors. Couple of men left. Two one Seattle. Congratulations to Allison Crowley from Tacoma, Washington. Allison has won herself tickets in the commissioner's box and her own Kyle Seeger bobblehead. The next bobblehead night is July 11th versus the Angels. Be sure to tune in to Root Sports for your chance to win tickets and your very own Nelson Cruz bobblehead. Uh, meantime, have a night, Austin Jackson. I'm a huge fan, but I bet Mike Montgomery a bigger fan, Mr. Jackson, tonight. Absolutely, Angie, and I tell you what, the Mariners got more than they could ever expect from this young man if it had been for that big inning was it the third inning when he had to throw those extra pitches that he might have been able to go into the seventh. Yeah I had to throw 27 pitches in the inning but six innings four hits just four hits one run it was earned a couple of blocks four strikeouts 97 pitches he threw 64 strikes Mark Lowe is going to take over pitch here in the seventh inning for Mark his 13th appearance 0 0.69 ERA 12 strikeouts over the 13 innings that he has worked opponents hitting just 182 off of Mark. Good fastball in the mid 90s hard slider. Mark pitched in Sunday's 12 inning 6 3 loss to Cleveland. Two strong innings of one hit, one walk, and two strikeout ball. Maybe four pitched a scoreless inning with a strikeout. D.D. Gregorius. Then shooting. Gregorius in last night's ball game went 0 for 4, starting at shortstop. Then hitting for Perella. He'll no doubt move into shortstop, and Stephen Drew will move from short to second. And he shoots one past the shortstop with a boom push for a base hit. Looked like Willie took a step to the right right before the pitch. Here's John Ryan Murphy ran out a strikeout. Spring training and then 
called back to the ball club not too long ago. He's been outstanding. There's a double play depth up the middle. Mark Lowe coming back to the Mariners. Back on May 6th at the Angels. Ace Trout Pujols have retired them both. In for base hit, Gregorius plus speed. Oh, he falls down and get a chance. They will get him. Oh, baby, what a break for the Mariners. Wow. I'll take it. This one you see take it all. It. Huh? That's right. Oh, my goodness. Where's the rabbit's throw? Boy, good job by Willie to know he was right there and stay low and put the tag on him, too. Good communication out there. Yeah, Mark's able to jam him. And Nelson Cruz paying attention gets it clean quickly. Nine six on the put out. It's a good communication. Willie had his back to the whole play, so somebody's communicating to let him know where he is. Nice job right there. Good job by the sniper. That's about right. I like it. I mean, he had third. He just keeps his feet. Stephen Drew 0 for two. Double play and get low out of this thing. That's a good break. Tough break for Gregorius, the Mariners. Gladly take it. Cruz on the case. Two outs. Fans, this season for every Mariners hit, Fred Hutch will receive a donation from Mariners Care. It's called Hits for the Hutch. And it's a Mariners way of supporting the life-saving research taking place at Seattle's own Fred Hutchinson Cancer Research Center. Fred Jewett coming out to make a pitching change. He wants a lefty to face Brett Gardner. Nice work by Mark Lowe to get the first two outs of the seventh. We'll see Charlie Fredbush when we come back to one Mariners. Jackson's evening against the Yankees. Four for four. And this one starts off with a double in the first inning. 
Unfortunately, he was left stranded at third, but he continues to swing the bat well off of CC Sabathia. Solid line drive, base hit in the left. Young trying to make the play, wasn't able to. So they make a change, bring an arm throwing right hander. And he picks up an RBI. And the Mariners go ahead with Morrison scores. So great night so far for Austin Jackson. Four for four, a score couple of doubles. To score them all up, too. That's what's nice. Scored a run and driven in a run. Last AB, working count, nice AB. Charlie's going to take over his 22nd appearance on the air, 142 ERA. We're 12 and two thirds. Pulitz hitting just 133 off of Charlie. Good fastball in the low 90s, slider. One for two night for Brett Gardner. His walk in the third set off some of the fireworks that led to Zanino and McClendon being ejected. He's 0 for 5 against Furbush. Charlie gets ahead. Carson Smith getting loose in the pen. In the inning, Gregorius slipped. Mariners were able to throw him out as he was heading to third, try to double back to second after the fall. This is Charlie sit Charlie Ferber situation in the seventh. Need to get a left breaking ball. One and two. Jackson is enjoying a four for four night. Two singles, two doubles, a run batted in, and a run scored. Purpose trying to preserve that lead. Jackson playing towards left center. Ruggiano shallow in left. One two pitch. Foul off again. Seventh pitch coming up. Two and three in the seven game road trip. Mariners trying to end a three game losing streak. Third wish ready. And one two pitch. So a breaking ball swung on a miss. Tag applied. He's gone. So are the Yankees in the seventh. They get no runs on two hits. No errors. Leave a man. Mariners have a 2 1 lead as we head to the seventh inning stretch.
stretch in your mind as you consider how a Washington's lottery win would change your bucket list. Play today. Look at the Montreal Maroons. It's dating way back. Evans Field flannels. They have some great gear as you look at from the some Japanese. Old league. school yeah, stuff old in there, school. huh? Atlanta Cubans, East West Leagues, and the Negro Leagues over here at East West game. You got the Negro American League. If you like to fly your baseball colors, that's a good place to go. DD Gregorius stays in the game at shortstop. And Stephen Drew moves from short to second base. Never hurts to have more runs. And this kid right now, Jason Shreve, he was pretty tough last evening. Gave up one hit in his inning of work. He's got Robinson Cano to lead off. Trick one on the outside corner. Cano, Cruz, and Seeger. Well, they got the right guys coming up, Dave, that's for sure. And I agree, one swing of the bat. Yep. I'd like to see a little insurance for myself. That's what everybody else in here, I'm sure. I'll be behind 0 and 2. Probably tonight. Struck out, base hit to right, and a fly out the center. Get on the board to share up two out double. By McClendon, Mike Zanino thrown out of the ball game. Arguing some calls. Downers answer bottom of the third. Nelson Cruz a two out single to right. Sixth inning, RBI double with two outs. By Austin Jackson is enjoying a four for four night in RBI and a run scored. Trying to get that bat hot again. Slaps one left field. Coming in to make the catch is Chris Young. One away here in the seventh. Make sure you stick around after the game. The Mariners post game presented by Delta Airlines. Great crowd here. Safe go field 27,442 and a pen jam pack. They open up ballpark earlier today. It's Kyle Seeger bobblehead night. And they open up the gates at 439 this afternoon. About 20 minutes earlier. And it's paid off quite well. Cruz, one for two with an RBI and a walk. Chris Archer, what a night. 15 strikeouts in eight wow. innings. Giant Tampa Bay record. Kluber got on the run, too. I like that guy. Tampa Bay, a 5 1 lead at the Angels. That's in the top of the ninth. Mariners will see Chris Archer coming up on Sunday. Wrap up the series with the Rays. Two and one. I like it. Hunt that fastball and shop the world with one swing. And the dirt archer with those 15 strikeouts gets him to 97 on the season. Started the day at 96. They got him locked up yet? Archer? Yeah. Yeah, they, I believe they did last year. Smart. 
long contract. Three and one here, Cruz. Look out. Got it cheap, I'm sure. Cheaper. <laughs> yeah, he's a talent, big time talent. Just down the line, probably gives him tradeability too. Archer signed through 2019 a six year twenty five point five million dollar contract. That's cheap. That's a bargain. <laughs> that is, and that's what I'm saying. It gets to the second of the last year. They're going to get a lot for that. Three and two to Cruz. Outfield deep. Nobody on here in the seventh. Mariners holding a 2 1 lead. Game two of the three game set with the Yankees. Also here at Tanaka tomorrow against Taiwan Walker. Walker coming off his best performance of the season. Kyle Seeger's on deck. Struck him out. Put a string. 82 miles an hour. Two outs, nobody on in the seventh. Try a real triple play. ST Express buses, link light rail and sounder trains. Where your options at soundtransit.org. Seeger, two strikeouts and a comebacker to the pitcher on a bunt attempt. Let's go. It's bobblehead night. Make it happen. He's thinking right with. Yankees will have two, three, four in their order coming up in the top of the eighth. And one. Here's your Kyle Seeger bobblehead. Big attraction tonight, almost 28,000 here in the house. Hard coming to get it is Chris Young. The stutter step. Oh, he's going to be me. <laughs> yes, he is. <laughs> he brought second. It's stutter uh, step. <laughs> that was it. Eighth inning coming up. Two one Mariners. By the count of two to one as we go to the top of the eighth inning tap of the Big Fish Casino. 
big fish catch. How about this one? A long foul ball again with the glove wins. And a better reach, tail of the tape. He comes up, and he's got bragging rights in that seating section. Good to have you with us here at Safe Gold Field. Dave Sims, Mike Flowers, along with Jay Buhner, the Mariners Hall of Famer, and taking over pitching duties right now is Carson Smith. Smith will be the third man out of the Mariner pen. I like this kid. Got a little Jeff Nelson-ish to him. A little funky delivery. That great stuff, man. He's going to face two, three, four in the order. Well, he came out of nowhere in September last year, didn't he? Yes, he did. Ooh. Got a pinch hitter, be Garrett Jones, former Marlin and Pirate. Jones pinch hitting here in the eighth. Jones in his 26th game now, a 232 hitter with a homer and four runs batted in. Two for six is a pinch hitter. Carson Scotty, 0 and 2. Big man at 6'5, 235. Minnesota, Pittsburgh, and Miami, and he is gone. Good start, Carson Smith. All sliders in this last one, well located. Throws it right at his back foot, underneath his hands. He chokes that slider in there deep, doesn't he? Yeah. Gives that little late light. And Jones still looking for that fastball. Never got it. <laughs> Alex Rodriguez over two of the walk. 11 game hitting streak on the line. Strike one. Sixty-five home runs for Alex Rodriguez, nineteen hundred and eighty-six RBIs in twenty-one years. And a two. Number 68. Boy, was he something last night? One, two, straight three. Cole got him. The two down. A couple of fastballs down, and then he comes back with that slider on the outside corner. That's pain. There's a lot of people walking back, tipping their head after that chance. You bet. <laughs> See A Rod with the nod. Just to Shara. One for three. Drove in the Yankee run in the third with a double to the left. Shift on for him. A little Tino Martinez up there with a little bat wiggle, huh? A little bit. A little bit. Actually a lot. Yeah. You know, ranging over, calling everybody off, and Kid Carson, Carson Smith, a one, two, three, eight, with 
10 pitches in that inning. A 2 1 Mariner lead with Weeks, Morris, and Arugiano coming up when we return. One bottom of the eighth. And our Lexus pitching matchup. We take you back to the starter, CC Sabathia and Mike Montgomery. Mike Montgomery making his big league debut. He was fabulous. How about that, Jay, with the six innings of work? Unbelievable job. Unbelievable job. I think mean, the great thing is he's always going to remember this first start. Not only the fact that it was against the Yankee pinstripes, but uh, the fireworks. Yeah. That went along with it. So. Third inning. Zanino ejected. McClendon ejected. Garrett Jones stays in the game of playing left field. Oh, that's like, hey, they didn't have this down in Tacoma. <laughs> yeah. New pitcher, Jacob Lindgren, making his fourth appearance. And his big league debut last year, going two and one. As Ricky Weeks <clears throat> swings through. Well, these lefties are just change up, change up, change up. Professional debut last year, major league debut on Monday. Win against Kansas City. Weeks, Morris, and Arugiano, 6, 7, and 8. And the Mariner batting order. Behind one and two tonight, Weeks grounded the short, struck out, and fly to left. Lynn Grin of Mississippi, and like Seth Smith, he's from Biloxi. 22 years old, went to Mississippi State. Second round pick in the Yankees in 2014. Seth Smith went to Ole Miss. Logan Morrison on deck. Two hit night for him. Extended his hitting streak to 10 ball games. Now the difference is sixth inning, two out RBI double by Austin Jackson. AJ enjoying a four for four night, an RBI and a run scored, two doubles, two singles. Three and two here to Weeks. One away. Morrison 
Lomo, two for three. And a run it. Getting ready for the ninth inning. He'll have five, six, and seven in the Yankee order. Headley, Beltran, and Gregorius, three switch hitters. Bouncing ball handled by to Sheriff. Foot race oh. dropped it. <laughs> Almost safe. That was a good feed by Tishore. And again, we were talking about it earlier in the ball game. The issues the Yankees have had fielding this year. This will be the third error for them. Like for the throw to be a little bit lower, but that's something he should handle. No problem. A little quick with the peak to see where first base was. E1. An opportunity here for Ruggiano. Strike one to JR, who's walked, single to left, and struck out. Austin Jackson, a hitting star, first RBI, driven in by Nelson Cruz. But well, a big story in action news is Mike Montgomery. His big league start. Yankees with 41 errors this season, third most in the American League, and only Oakland and Texas have more. This kid is like, bring it home, baby. Give me my first win and my first major league start. Now Texas is even even more trouble with AB out. Adrian Belcher mm -hmm. being on the show. For thumb, a couple of weeks, minimum. Takes a lot to get him out of the lineup. That's for sure. One out and a one-one count pitch. Down low, two balls, one strike. Two runs, 11 hits, no errors for the Mariners. A run on six hits and three errors for the Yankees. Two on. Also here at Tanaka, Taiwan Walker, the matchup. Tomorrow's 12:40 start. Last time we saw Taiwan was Friday, and he was spectacular. Eight innings, two hit shutout ball with eight strikeouts. And Ruggiero swings through. He's gone. Lindgren has struck out two. And here we go. The numbers for tomorrow's starters on CenturyLink. What's next? It's four starts for Tanaka, ten for Taiwan. Three doctors checked out Tanaka, told him he didn't need Tommy John surgery. He's worked his way back. And where to go? As you mentioned, big Japanese media presence here. Interviewing him today, and there'll be even more tomorrow as you look at Wellington Castillo. He's one for two since taking over for Mike Zanino, who was ejected from his first big league game back in the third inning. One forty eight p.m. Wednesday in Tokyo where they're watching this game live. I think it's safe to say that Bugs Bunny change up is giving him fits. What do you think? Some big swings tonight on that. Stay on it. Keep throwing it I guess. And they will. Absolutely. Double up triple up on it. Each team with a run in the third. Mariners took the lead in the sixth. 0 2 to Castillo. Marson back safely. Almost been on base three times tonight. Twice by hits and once by the error here by Lindgren in the eighth. Oh, 
and two. Momo takes off. Big swing on a foul. Uh, Castillo. Look at the standings entering today's game. Houston with a four game lead over the Angels and the Mariners here in the month of June. Next weekend will be down in Houston. Fernando Rodney gets ready. And then the following week, Houston will be here for three more. Face to face. There's the 0 2 pitch. Bounce to Headley. Spins, throws over, and dug out by Teixeira. Here we go. Turn your caps at 10 o'clock. It's ninth inning time. A 2 1 lead for the Mariners, and Fernando Rodney will come on and go for the close. One coming up on Mariners post game presented by Delta Airlines. Lots more on the major league debut of Mike Montgomery. We'll uh, track him down in the clubhouse. You cannot miss Lloyd McClendon's post game comments after this one. And we will get you set for the finale tomorrow against the Yankees. It's all coming up on Mariners post game presented by Delta Airlines. Gentlemen, turn your cap to 10 o'clock. Welcome everybody to the Fernando Rodney experience. Mariners with a 2 1 lead. Let's see if one of the leading closers in the game can get the job done here at home against the Yankees. He'll face five, six, and seven in the bomber order. 14 saves. Tied for fourth in the American League. So here we go. Headley 0 for 1 against Fernando. 14 out of 16 at save opportunities. 35 of his last 37. All one. All two. Tonight, two ground outs and a strikeout. Two one, Mariner lead. And strike two and one, two. Big cheer of Shannon back out of the hospital, looking good in his green and white. Two strikes. Rodney Deal. 
Eagles two and two. Bounced it up there. Full count. Trying to end a three game losing streak. Rodney's first hitters Headley, the 3 2 pitch. Up high, walked it, tying on the board. That brings up the veteran Carlos Beltran, who's one for six against Fernando. Trend today, base hit a flare, single in the second center field, rounded out the third and a strikeout. Infield double play depth, well hit, right field, but Cruz, couple of steps, he's there for out number one. <laughs> I think Goldsberg was sitting on that by his reaction. One out, one on. Hitter's going to be D.D. Gregorius. Came on as a pinch hitter in the seventh inning. Jose Barella. Gregorius seeing Fernando for the first time. Ryan McCann is on deck. No pinch hit. Strike one. Trying to make a winner out of Mike Montgomery in his major league debut. Bail one, two, Gregorius. Outside, one to one. Pitch. Two and one. Two runs, 11 hits, no errors for the Mariners. Run on six hits and three Yankee errors this evening. Two and one. That bunch bunny change up you're talking about. Two balls, two strikes, Jay. Yeah, it's like it stopped halfway up there. <laughs> Great arm out motion on it. Yeah, that's what happens when you face it for the first time. He's calling me. <laughs> Do it again for a dollar right here. Come on. Two two pitch. Got it. Thank you. Two outs. Thank you, thank you. That is a filthy pitch for him. When that thing's working, he can pretty much tell you it's coming. Late movement. Can't do a whole lot with it. Ryan McCann's going to pinch hit now. For John Ryan Murphy. McCann, 0 for 2 career. Against Fernando. Ball one. There's Mike Montgomery. Looks like Seeger. A little bit. Doesn't it? A little bit. Fernando trying to save it. Give Montgomery a win in his major league debut. Swing and a miss. One and one to count. A well deserved win, right? I'll say. Mariners needed to pick me up. The spot vacated by Paxton is on the DL. Big question mark the last few days. Who was going to get this spot Tuesday against the Yankees in the rotation? On one pitch to McCann. Slicing drive, left center field. Ruggiano will get it back in. Digging for third makes it easily. There's Chase Headley.
McCann serves one. They get runners at the corners. Of course, hitter that's been able to stay on yeah, that change up. The pitch was well off the plate away. Nice piece of hit right there. Yeah. Stephen Drew will be the hitter. He's a career one for four hitter against Fernando Rodney as things get a little bit tighter here with the time run. At third, the go ahead run at first. Drew tonight 0 for three. Two ground outs and a fly out. Fifth hitter in the inning. Walk, fly out, strike out, base hit. Mariners holding on here. 1 0 pitch. There's a strike. 1 1. Two strikes. Wow. I look at the hundred. <laughs> Doesn't it? I mean, really. It was close. It was 96. I found myself kind of thinking as a hitter right there, right. and then all right. of a sudden, you, that thing got on you in a hurry. Houston's already won six to four. Texas has won 15 to two. Mariners tried to join that club. Here's the one two from Fernando. Line drive, base hit, right field, tie ball game. A double for Drew, second and third Yankees. Scoring easily was Headley. And now runners at second and third. Well, he tried the fastball again. This one 96 miles an hour, and you can see they wanted it on the outside corner. Ends up on the inner half of the plate as he hits it out into right field. Two two ball game, two outs, two on as we get to the top of the order and Brett Gardner. Right now, Rick Wade's out for some word with Rodney. Brett Gardner will be the sixth hitter to the plate. Blown save and no win for Mike Montgomery. And that is a shame. And we have Gary Jones on deck. He came on as a pinch hitter. The Kansas is going to get loose in the pen for the Yankees. So along with Andrew Miller. So here's Gardner. One for three. At second and third for the Yankees. McCann at third, Drew at second. 1 0 pitch. Inside, yes, get out of the way. 2 0. Two for six against Fernando. Back to strike two and one. So the Mariners will have the top of the order in the bottom of the ninth. Austin Jackson four for four. You got Willie Blomquist and Robinson Cano. Scheduled headers. Two and one. Two on, two out. Broken bat, fair ball, Lomo right to the bag. My goodness, that bat went into the Mariner dugout. So they're just going to have to try to win it right here. Fernando blows one in the ninth. Got a 2 2 ball game. Jackson, Bloomquist, and Cano coming up.
wrap up this series tomorrow. CenturyLink, what's next? It'll be Taiwan Walker against Masahiro Tanaka. That'll be an interesting matchup, interesting contrast. How both guys will be on the attack. Dylan Batantis. Here's a guy, Mike, that can really rush it up there. How about 47 strikeouts and 28 and a third? Opponents hitting 106. He has yet to give up a home run this year, 4 0 record. And he will be in the upper 90s with a hard slider. Austin Jackson, perfect night so far, 4 for 4, leading things off here in the bottom of the ninth. Top of the order for the Mariners. Jackson will get his first look at the Tantas. Ball one. I go back to 2011. Mike Cut asked Mariner to get a five hit ball game. Austin with four hits. He's extended the hitting streak to six. Mike Clark. Where is he? He was with Boston. It's a blast from the past. Jackson's only five hit game. April 30th, 2010 against the Angels when he was with Detroit. And Tantus is 3 0. Seth Smith is on deck. He will pinch it for Willie Glenquist. Here's strike three and one. Ball four. Winning run is aboard. That's a big good matchup, Seth Smith. Good fastball hitter. We know Potances has the good heat. Seth pinch hitting. Trent Jewett consulting with Howard Johnson, a hitting coach, Lloyd McClendon, long gone. Toss from the game back in the third along with Mike Zanino. 31st ejection for Lloyd, first for Mike Z. Well, Seth Smith hitting, I don't think he's going up there to bump, that's for sure. Otherwise, why pitch hit? Exactly. On it goes. And on the transfer. Dropped by the catcher. And in with a stolen bases, Austin Jackson. That's his seventh. Rick Hand is the new catcher. Ooh. Look how hard he goes in the second, too. He's flying. I mean, he goes in the second base. Right on top of the bat. But he now will consult with Rich Donnelly. Trent Jewett running things. Running run at second. Oh, one to count to Seth Smith. Here's the 0 1. Ball misses on a walk. Big pitch on one takes it for strike. Tight game for the Mariners. They're 13 and 10 in one run games. One two pitch. Struck him out. 
Run away. Mariners now two for 12 with runners from scoring position. Well, that was pretty nasty right there, especially when you throw 98. They want to get into him to throw the fastball. No. All four pitches were breaking balls. And look at the location, too. Well, if there's ever a time, Robbie wants to get back his former team. This is as good a time as any. Jackson with plus speed at second. Breaking ball for a strike. Playing here in the bottom of the ninth, Fernando Rodney came on top of the ninth, 2 1 lead, couldn't hold it. 0 1. And the third. You know, 1 for 2 against Batantis. The arms out. And the Yankee out there, Jones and left, Gardner in center, Beltran in right. Gardner does not have a strong arm in center. Beltran used to be able to throw really well. One one to Robbie. Swing and a miss. One and two. Jay, you were talking about a hundred <laughs> earlier. Well, here you go. Ninety-nine miles an hour. Right Again, at the top of the strike zone. Slider, slider, sliders, and then up. 99 up there. Good luck. Now you're trying to get invisible up there. One, two, struck him out at 98 miles an hour. Two down in the ninth. Two high fastballs, not able to catch up to either one of them. Late swing. And Cruz has picked up the Mariners on multiple occasions this season. They count on him again. He's 0 for 4 against Batantis. Sit on a curveball, Jay. Fastball slider. I am up the middle. I'll get through. Gregorius got him. Wow, what a play! Extra frames coming up. My goodness. It's a correct call. Got it. And here we go. Tenth inning. He's Lynx Beef Jerky all season long. Jack Lynx Beef Jerky. Feed your wild side. Extra innings this year. The Mariners are 4 and 4. The Yankees are 0 and 3. A little summer, summary here. Third inning. A lot of things happen. Here's Mark Teixeira. First pitch swinging. And it's a double down in the left field corner. And that scores Gardner. Yankees had a 1 0 lead. After Lloyd McClendon. And Zanino thrown out of the game. Nelson Cruz a two out single to right ties it at 1 1. Austin Jackson having an outstanding evening. Take it to the sixth inning. And there's two outs. A couple of men aboard. Austin Jackson hustles a double, scores a run. Mariners get a 2 1 lead. They take it into the ninth inning. Bring on Fernando Rodney. Can he hold the lead? 
negative. Uh, first man walk, paid for it, base hit a double by Stephen Drew, ties it at 2-2. Two -two. And now we go to the top of the 10th. The new pitcher for the Mariners, Tom Wahomson. Big time, face two, three, four in the order. For the New York Yankees, his 11th game, two holes at 1.50 ERA, 14 strikeouts against three walks. Oh, the Yankees had this game, not that the Mariners had this game, I should say. Brad Miller, he takes over. That shortstop. Eric Jones, pinch hit. And the eighth stayed on and played in left field. To lead off. Rodney could not hold it. And per usual, the walks always come around and beat you. One one to Garrett Jones. Shift going against him. He goes the other way. Seeger can't slow it up. Get off man's aboard. That beats the shift. Nice piece of hit. Looked like he was trying to go that way, Mike. Well, he gets a fastball. It's right on the outside corner. I think even if Kyle comes up with it, no chance yeah. to throw him out. But there's no doubt he let that ball travel so he could hit it that way. Man's aboard in the tenth for Alex Rodriguez. 0 for 3 with a walk. Hitting streak holding at 11. Struck out looking at the hands of Carson Smith for the second out in the eighth inning. Well, he did go, says Mike DeMille. Better call out. Girardi's ball club 0 and 3 in extra inning games. The Mariners are 4 and 4. On two pitch from Tom Wilhelmson to Rodriguez. On two. Time the fifth reliever out of the pen tonight. Mike Montgomery just joining us. Rookie called up from Tacoma to start the game was outstanding in six innings. Four hits, one run. They had a chance to win the ball game, and Rodney couldn't hold on. Chance to give the bullpen a little bit of a breather, too. And we know it. And that would have been such a terrific feel-good story for the Mariners to get this kid up here in time of need, get a victory. Didn't work out. One and two to Rodriguez. Lazy fly ball left center field for Ruggiano. And there's one away. Here's how Montgomery got here. First round pick of the Royals and then traded to the Rays. 
And then in the Erasmo Ramirez deal on the 31st of March became a Mariner. I think before the season opened. And we're faxed it out for an undetermined amount of time. Mariners needed a starter in this hole in the starting rotation. Here's Teixeira. Strike one. Texas 0 for 4 against Will Helpson. The 0 1. One out, one on, top of the 10th in a 2 2 ball game. That hit by Jones was the 10th, make that the 9th. Yankee base hit. One one. Two and one. Michael Pineda, what a ball game he threw last night, picking up his seventh victory. Yankees won that one seven to two. Need to strike here. It's three and one at the show. Chase Headley on deck. Boy, he didn't cheat himself. Boy, oh boy. <laughs> Thank you. Thing on his mind, that's for sure. A grand slam in last night's game. Huge pitch here from Wilhelms. Three and two. Pitch. Walking. First and second. One out. Andrew Miller warming up for the Yankees. Hitter Chase Headley, the third baseman. Over two against Wahopson. Joe Girardi's team coming back with a run in the ninth to get it in extra innings. In hard. Oh, Lomo, stop it. And can no, he get no, to no, the no. bag? Everybody safe. That was self defense right there. It was self defense and a great play. Unfortunately, yeah, he was thinking about going to second, bobbled it. He knew he had an out at first, but Tom never covered. So he didn't have anybody to throw it to. And Rick Wake's pitching coach is going to come out of the dugout now. But what a play. This ball is on the button and it jumps up on him. I mean, he's almost spitting shit right there. Well, you can see his glove was right in front of his face as he made the play, and he was going to go to second, and right there he bobbles. He's still okay once he recovers, but because Headley, he really didn't take off out of the box right away either. No. And there's nobody there to cover. Baseball gods almost got him out busting out of the box right there. Well, a fine mess here in the tenth. Bases loaded, one out. Looks like Tom was going to back up home. Thought it was going to get through. Here's Carlos Beltran. One for four tonight. All one. Oh, wow, how they come up with that? I don't know. I don't know. Top hand. That's His glove was turned over too. The wrong way, I agree. Five mile an hour fastball. Ooh. He raked it, the it with his, way. Yeah, <laughs> got it with his thumb. Well, that's extraordinary. 
1 0, bases loaded, 1 out, top 10, pitch, ball 2. Tom's ball's going all over the place, man. A lot of movement on it. Beltran in the driver's seat at 2 0, bases loaded, and 1 out. Makes a strike. Jones to Shara and Headley, the base runners. One out. Well, Helmson set to one. Down in the heap. You can hear that up here. Unfortunate for him. He had the pad that missed. Steve Donahue, a long time. Good man, I think. Trainer, he had been there a long time. One of the good ones. Him and Gino, who just recently. Not too long ago with Tyron too. Both of them been around a long mm -hmm. time. Two balls, two strikes. Bases loaded. One out. Top of the tenth in a two-two ball game. Mariners and Yankees back at it tomorrow at 12:40. Pitch. Just got a piece of. Double play depth. 2-2 two -two pitch. I'm off again. Beltran on the curveball. Seen all the pitches now. Barely gets a piece of it. Pretty good job of spoiling right there. That's a nasty pitch. Tom looks in. He's got the sign. Here's the 2 2 pitch to Beltran. Up the middle. Can he get two? There's one. Yes. Wow, what a flip. What a glove flip right there from Robbie. Boy, did they need that double play right on time. Started by Robinson Cano. Coming across the bag, Miller. Double play, and the Mariners survived the top of the 10th.
Ah, yes, the artistry of second baseman Robinson Cano. Watch how he flips this to Brad Miller. Makes it nice and easy for him. Makes the catch, get the bag, get out of the way, make a good throw. Inning over. Pretty sweet. Makes it look easy, doesn't he? Let you see it. Gives you plenty yeah. of lead time. And Miller doing a nice job dragging his toe across the bag. Boom. Headlay, by Lomo. headlay almost to get down soon. Uh, <laughs> he was almost wearing it. Kyle Seeger, bobblehead night as Will Helpson and Miller. Get Let's a go breather. Home. Let's go home right here. Come on. Seeger. Oh, my God. Justin Wilson, the new pitcher for the Yankees. Kyle could put a heck of a tapper on this evening here. Bottom of the 10th, 2 2 ball game, pitch. In there for strike, 1 1. There's the ledger on Justin Wilson. Two strikes. Out with nine homers, 29 runs batted in. One for four. This evening got a base hit to left back in the seventh inning. One, two. Outside. Two balls, two strikes. Hughes and Kino watching and Hoping Seeger can get something going here in the 10th. Aaron RBIs tonight. Cruz in the third. Jackson in the sixth. 2-2. Two -two. Yeah. Goes the other way. Base hit. Boot it. Two base hits the left field in his last two times up for Kyle Seeger. This is such good hitting. Good fastball up, well off the plate away. Kyle going the other way again. You can see the way he gets on top of that. Didn't pop it up. Solid base hit on the left. It has not been a good night for Ricky Weeks. Ground out, strike out, fly out, strike out. 0 for 4. He can make good it's here. Right. It's all right. You're only as good as your last OB, baby. Right here. That's it. Be a hero. Not a zero. <laughs> Got a feeling you wore that button in high school, didn't you? Uh, from the bat to the bat. <laughs> Ricky Weeks one for five against Justin Wilson. It's getting late, Michael. Early turnaround tomorrow, boys. Getting late. I want somebody to do it. Let's go. You guys can take it to the house. Many of the crowd here, 27,442 still here. Ricky Weeks, man aboard, shows butt, popped it up. Oh, what a play! Get back, throw it away. Oh, man, you gotta be kidding. <laughs> yes, that just happened. <laughs> Yay, yay. A one one four double play. Ouch. Well, Ricky pops up and it's a great play by Wilson coming off the mound. The double up Kyle at first. Nice play by Drew over there to pick it. Man, man. Mike, we were just having a discussion about the poor bunting in Major League Baseball recently. As a matter of fact, it wasn't the first. And that's, I'm, I'm sure that Ricky hasn't been asked to bunt very you know, often. Very in his long career. time. Yeah. I hear you. Well, yeah. What a play. I thought when it first came off the bat, he was going to hit it out in no man's land out towards second base, you know, a little bit further out. A little, little push bunt over yeah. his head type thing. Yeah. Which would have been a base hit all day. Wow. Man.
Brings up Logan Morrison with two outs. He's got two hits tonight, two for four, run scored. He's been on base the last three times up. Strike one. Lynx beef jerky all season long. Jack Lynx beef jerky feeds your wild side. Crazy night at the yard. Start with one of the great stories we've seen this season. Mike Montgomery called upon to start a ball game, fill a hole in the rotation. And this kid was sensational. Six innings, a four hit, one run ball, two walks, and four strikeouts. He left with an opportunity to win the ball game. I agree. Just throwing a gym. But then things falling guys off. Did a great Second job. time around, went to the curveball. Good fastball change up, great location. Got the defense, defense on their toes, exactly. And things happened. Got to the ninth inning, and Fernando Rodney could not hold it. Just add that to his whole story of his first start in the big leagues, right? Mm. Fernando walked. The leadoff man on a 3 2 pitch, and he came around and scored on an RBI double by Stephen Drew. Here's Gregorius. Slaps one through the hole, base hit. Nice piece of hit, a little fastball away. Takes what he gives, what they give him. Got a little speed on first now. Mariners got a terrific double play to end the tenth. Here's McCann. Entered the game as a pinch hitter, single to center. In the ninth against Rodney. Tom Wilhelmson. This is his second inning of work. That's the strike. Put together some pretty good numbers. Bouncing back a little bit here for camp. Mariners two and three on this. Check that the Yankees two and three in the seven game road trip while the Mariners have lost three consecutive games in four of their last five. Strikes a big time ahead on two. Oh. 
here's a double play opportunity. Miller will take it himself. Nicely done. McCann hits this ball right on the button. Kind of skipped off Brad a little bit. That's it. Does a nice job of getting out of there too. Stephen Drew, he delivered back-breaking game tying RBI double top nine. Tied the score. Two two looks at a strike. Hits, no errors for the Mariners. Two runs, 11 hits, three errors by the Yankees. Off the end of the bat. Updated to the minute. Your Delta Airlines keep climbing standings. The Astros' lead is five over the Angels. Five and a half Rangers. Aaron is at eight. The Rangers are runs they're scoring right now. Yeah. My goodness. Prince Fielder. Yeah. Rejuvenated to say the least. <laughs> Started the day 359. Sizable lead. Over Jason Kipnis, 19 points lead. 359, huh? 359 entering today. He can swing it. It's amazing what can happen when you get healthy. Two and two. And well, base hit. Boy, Drew have Good grief. Look at this guy hot, huh? Nice two ABs, double and a single to right. Got the double off of Fernando in the ninth. And this is on the changeup, not over the plate. Elevated a little bit. Top of the order, Brett Gardner coming up. Fielder in the 15 2 win earlier tonight went one for five with an RBI. Trek one to Gardner, so Prince. Wow, and they scored 15. I only draw that really one. Four RBI night for Gallo, who's a young kid replacing Beltre at 30, went three for four, three runs scored, knocked in four. That gets a stud. And Corcoran drove in five runs. 0 and 1 to Gardner. Two outs, men aboard. Did they get the Smarcha? Is that who they beat up? Yeah, they beat him. He's four and three. Wow. One one. Kobe Lewis got the win. He's five and three. From Texas. That's a crafty righty. John Wilson needs an out here in the eleventh. In the tenth ended that inning. Big part of this eleventh was another double play. And here's a looper that's going to drop in, get some gap too. Getting to third is Drew digging for second. Gardner stand up double with two outs. Fastball in the middle of the plate. It is down. He jams him just a little bit. Trent Jewett out of the dugout. And Joe Bimel getting loose in the pen. 
Two out trouble here. The veteran Joe Bimel, lefty specialist. Coming on to get Garrett Jones. 2 2 ball game. Yankees threaten runners at second and third. Hold on to end it. Meantime, from coworkers to clients to family and friends, these suites at Safeco Field Service, the perfect space to entertain guests, whether hosting 14 or 400. Each suite offers you game tickets, catering, and VIP parking. For more information for your next suite night, visit Mariners.com slash premium. You never know who could be in the suite next to you because last night was filled with Seahawks. Guys, back upstairs to you. All right. Thank you, Andy. We saw Richard Sherman throw out the first pitch. Right now, he threw it 51 miles an hour, pretty much on target. Joe Bimel to get Garrett Jones here. Got to get him. Runners at second and third, two outs, top 11 in a 2 2 ball game. That double by Gardner, the 13th Yankee hit. Ball one. Jones two for seven against Joe B. You've got Drew at third at second, Brett Gardner. Two and oh. Nobody warming up. The only one left in the bullpen is Leon. Leon, and they wanted to stay away from him. Pitched two innings in last night's game and an inning the night before. Two men aboard. 2 0 pitch. Cranked. Right center field. Deep. Gone. Three run jack on a 2 0 pitch. Garrett Jones, 5 2 Yankees. That ain't a cheapy either. That ain't lying. Man. Jones with his second home run runs his RBI total to seven, and that's easily his biggest moment as a Yankee, and that's a killer. Throw a strike and he threw one 88 miles an hour right in the middle of the plate. Little 6 5 leverage right there, huh? Back wagon. 5 2 ball game, two outs in the 11. Breaking ball to Rodriguez. So, three run homer tonight. Last night, a grand slam by Teixeira. Two 
too many storylines in this one. Had a great performance by Montgomery. He had Lloyd and Zanino thrown out of the ball game. Big spot by Austin Jackson with four hits, a big RBI to tie it. Bradley comes in, 2 1 lead, blows the save. Bimel gets behind in the 11th after Will Hudson gives up two hits with two outs and a three run jack, a 5 2 Yankee lead. Both of those runs, two of the three runs, charge to town. Two one pitch. Andrew Miller, they'll be bringing him in for the close. Three and two coming a rod on the ground to Miller. Throws him out. Damage plenty. They get the double play, then single, double, three run homer, 5 2 Yankees. Wrap up the series tomorrow. Century Link, what's next? Taiwan Walker coming off a fabulous performance goes against Masa here at Tanaka. And we'll be with you at 1240 tomorrow. How about Garrett Jones? 2 0 pitch, 2 on against Joe Bimel. And he crushes one right center field. And for Jones, his second home run, seventh RBI. And since coming into the game, Garrett Jones had an infield hit earlier, two for three night. Andrew Miller, he's been tough out of the bullpen. 15 for 15 and save opportunities. 35 strikeouts and 22 in the third. Opponents hitting 068 against him. Hard throwing left hander. North Carolina product like Ackley and Seeger. Boston and Baltimore prior to coming to the Yankees. The Ruggiano, Castillo, and Jackson here in the 11th. Working from the extreme third base side of the rubber, and he's quickly ahead 0 and 2. I think the tail of the game tonight has been hit with men's storms, huh? 
has not been good and has not been good all year. It was 219 entering tonight. One of the Mariners tonight, two for 14. Two for 14 tonight. Yowza, that ain't going to get it done. One out. Wellington Castillo. Strike one to Castillo. Entered the ball game when Mike Zanino was tossed in the third inning. Flores in left, Jones in right. For the Yankees. What that conversation is about, right there. Those two on the top step. Cruz and Seager. Uh -huh. Yeah. I think you got an idea of what it might be, but. 2 1. Nice. That's it past Headley. And a one out base runner for the Mariners here in the 11th, their 13th hit. Tough go. And this tonight is really going to hurt if they don't find a way to come back. Austin Jackson. Fantastic night. Four for four to walk, an RBI and a run scored. Keep trying to pound him in, though, don't they? Two for 14 runners in scoring position. Like it. What a tough week for the Mariners. Runners in scoring position Sunday, two for eight, eight left. Monday, one for six, six left. Tonight, two for 14, 11 men left. 2 0 pitch. This strike. Just inside. Get him aboard to bring the tying run to the plate. First opportunity to swing the bat tonight. 3 1. Oh, thank you. Bring the tag run to the plate. Really? Wow. Is this going to happen? Bad <laughs> hitting. Man, man. Fifteen for fifteen and save opportunities. I would say he's due. I like it. Why not? Why not? That's right. In that kind of game, anyway, it's been so strange. Might as well cap it off. What's <laughs> another couple hours? Hey, Twelve forty start time. Right? What the heck? Come on. I ain't sleeping that much, right? <laughs> Let's make one to Brad. Miller, a 143 hitter against lefty pitching. Oh, 
one. Keep it in there, bud. That'd be tough thing. That was crossfire. Throwing it at your hip. Frisbee around. Popped it up. Going back is Gregorius. Calling off Gardner. He's there to make the catch two down. Well, Cano with a couple men aboard. Two outs. Down 5 2. Yankees one in the ninth to tie, take the lead in the 11th. Come back to Hon Honcho Ball Club, Michael. Is that what you're thinking right now? <laughs> it's funny how that works, isn't it? Come back and be a thorn in the side. Just throwing a hanging breaking ball right here. And how far can he hit it? Let's play, shall we? The other way, that's going to get through. Coming around to score is Castile. So Kino keeps this baby alive at 5-3. to three. Oh, let it be a boomstick opportunity, huh? <laughs> First pitch fastball. Hey, at least there's no die right now. That's what I like. Exactly. Yeah, good call. Good call. Showing some character, showing some life. And you know what? You'd never know because you got the right guy. Crazy game. Hit on request. Walk this way, Aerosmith. I like it. One for three against Miller. Fourteen hits for the Mariners. Fourteen hits for the Yankees, but they lead five three. No, what you dare? One one. Is the guy in the booth ever got kicked out of the game before? <laughs> <laughs> Keep going. You're trying. <laughs> Just the first time for everything. <laughs> the way this one's going. That'd be a tough type type <laughs> to walk down that wire though to get down there. One and one. Cruz represents the winning run. Pitch. Taking for a strike. One and two. All of a sudden Miller's amped it up too. That was his best fastball, 97 miles an hour right on the corner. Every one of those guys coming out stole that. It's amazing. Plus, there's a big drink of water, too, coming at you. Going that hard. Oof. There we go. Ball game in the line. A one two pitch to Cruz. Down low, two and two. For this time of game, he's trying to keep this thing going. Is the winning run at the plate? Five three. The Yankees two outs. Deuces wild. Two balls. Two strikes. Two on. Two two pitch from Miller. Struck him out. The Yankees win it. They win this one five three and eleven. Take this series. The Mariners have lost four consecutive games in five of their last six. The Yankees are now three and three on this road trip. A lot of opportunities for the Mariners in this one. Again, three for 17 on the night with runners in scoring position. 14 hits, three runs. Mike Montgomery is in line to get the win. I thought he really pitched well going six innings for a guy making his major league Good debut, the holding job. the Yankees to just one run. You're right. It was an outstanding job by Montgomery. Yeah, well, the Mariners got to figure out a way to. Get in, the, get in bed tonight and shake it off and come back tomorrow because it's a quick turnaround, boys. Absolutely, Jay. Pleasure as always, my man. Good, Good to see, see him. Slip off again. Oh, tonight. you know it. We'll be back at it at 1240 tomorrow. Right now, Mariners postgame presented by Delta Airlines starts right now with Brad and Bill.
Thank you, gentlemen. You see Gary Jones set to do a walk-off interview for the Yankees because his three-run home run in the top of the 11th inning won it for the visitors. Welcome out here. Yeah, so such an interesting night. So much happened here. Mike Montgomery making your Major League debut. You whirl on the Yankees. You see your catcher, manager ejected. You see Fernando Rodney blow it in the ninth. Jones wins it in the 11th. What do you take away from all of this madness if you're Montgomery? I think he has to feel really good inside. A guy that's the number one pick that now knows that he's made the journey back, met the promise that he was given going through now his third organization, and he pitched well. It wasn't just by, by uh, luck that he was able to pitch like he did tonight. He executed, good fastball early, good curveball, good changeup. He was impressive. We will show you his highlights. We'll try to get everything in in our post-game show as the Yankees take game two. They win the series. And Gary Jones, the hero, pinch hitting. He had a single and the three-run home run. Yankees take it 5-3. We'll hear from Lloyd, hopefully, about the ejection. Show you that. Lots to get to on Mariners post-game presented by Delta Airlines. 